the fact that she was molested is indisputable. Right. I mean, she was molested. Right. Montego, you took a lie detector test. The doctor said she had an STD. It didn't come for me. Man, you talk crazy. Rochelle, you took a lie detector test. And she told me my uh, mama and my auntie did it. So now, you took a lie detector test. Exactly. You don't coach kids to say something that's not true. And they're trying to take my sister's kids from her. Sonny took a lie detector test. I haven't hugged my kids in the last three years. How can I be not molest my kids? I, I smell something wrong right off the bat here. I'm a dad. I got four girls. So I don't know how to react. I, for real, I thought it was a joke. My daughter comes to me, and she tells me that he was the one who touched her. Do you believe Samantha coached her daughter to say that? I don't know. He is going to jail because I have proof. The game is over. You came here to play games, and I busted you. Montego was horrified after one of his young children tested positive for an STD. Oh. And the child later confessed to her dad's wife that her mom, Sonny, and her aunt, Chanel, were touching her and bribing her to have sex with men by giving her candy, juice, and chips. But Sonny and Chanel say that Montego and his wife are coaching the child to cover up the fact that she was molested while in their care. Take a look. You let somebody hurt my baby. I supposed to be in there to protect them too. Not only just you, that's not even their mother, but you you rather have her to protect them than their real mother. And I've been there for the longest taking care of my kids without you or her. It kills me deep inside to know that you let somebody molest my babies. I'm here because me and my sister has been accused of molesting her kids, which is crazy because they've been staying with their daddy for the last three years. How can I molest my kids when y'all had molesters staying in the house and y'all knew he was a molester? I think we're being accused of this is because the wife can't have kids and they're trying to take my sister's kids from her. She almost 35 years old and don't even have any kids and y'all trying to start a family with my kids and take my babies away from me. That's not right. My sister and I haven't seen the kids since 2010. It's 2013. I find out where my kids at, they call the cops on me. I've been, I've been emailing them through Facebook. They blocked me from their Facebook page, so I can't email them. I called Montego and Rochelle. I didn't get an answer. Then their number got disconnected. I called his family. I get no answer. Being accused of this is affecting me, my sister, my kids, because they want to see their cousins, and we can't even see them. And I don't understand what's really going on with the situation, why they want to take my sister's kids away from her. I haven't hugged my kids in the last three years. How, how, so how is that? How can I be no molest my kids? My baby had an STD. That means a male actually hurt my child. If you, you're supposed to be their father, you're supposed to be there for them and protect them from anything, but you sit there and let somebody hurt my child, do you try to blame it on the other person that loved them the most and that's their mother? Is you for real? You don't coach kids to say something that's not true. You don't coach kids to hate their mom. Because that's what, that's what he's doing. My Tico is turning the kids against their mom and me for no reason. And I don't think that's right at all. I want to prove my innocence as well as my sister right along with all my family. Because there's no way impossible that the kids was molested under eye care because we haven't had them or seen them in three years. Rochelle, why don't you tell me what happened with your stepchildren? First of all, I never accused nobody of touching them. I just listen to the kids. I'm going to listen to the kids, and I believe the kids, as always. Okay, what happened with the kids was we was getting them for the summer, and she said she didn't have no way, nowhere to take them um, for school, when school started. So we kept them, okay, and... After a while, time went by, and the baby started hiding her panties. I seen discharge in the panties. So it went from me talking to, the, talking to her, asking her if she's okay. She said uh, her mom was showing her dildos, and she seen a man's penis. The man's penis was big. I have a big relationship, relationship with these children. These children is my heart. I'm, I'm, you know, it hurt me so bad to have to come out here like this, but I'm serious, it hurts so bad. 
you know, to see them hurting. You know what I'm saying? But she, she's really blaming me, saying that I'm coaching them. I would never do that to her. I teach them that their mom loved them regardless of what, and I teach them to love her. So I don't know where all this coming from. She was took to the hospital, and they examined her, and she came back to having a STD. And I've been going through crazy stuff about this, but I'm going to work through it. And this is what I have so to with the girl having an STD, the fact that she was molested is indisputable. Right. I mean, she was molested. Right. And the other kids were saying that they was too. And it just I'm just trying to find out what's going on. I don't have no beef with nobody. I'm not here for that. I'm here for the kids. The little girl, she told you that her mom and aunt did this, right? Yes. What did she exactly say? She, she came to me. She said, Mama Shell. She said, I want to tell you the truth. She know I don't like for her to lie. So she said, she started crying, and she told me my, my uh, mama and my auntie did it. And they was letting other guys, they was letting guys do it. They was letting, uh, they was getting money for this. So I, I'm here to, you know, I'm just here to find out what went on, what happened. I'm in the middle of this. I'm just the wife. Now, the mom and the aunt claim on the tape that they haven't seen, you know, the mom, she hasn't seen her kids in three years. Where did the STD come from? She said it came from her mom's house. Not from two years ago. That's what I heard. Wow. So, I, yeah. And I've been tested. I'm, I'm, I'm not a doctor. Okay. But I think that if you get an STD that the symptoms are going to show up pretty right. soon, right. not but two years see. later. One of the little girls told her that you and your sister inappropriately touched the kids. Steve, that's a lie. My kids is my pride and joy. Montego, you took a lie to touch the test. The doctor said she had an STD. It didn't come for me. Okay. Man, you talking crazy. One of the little girls told her that you and your sister inappropriately touched the kids. Steve, that's a lie. My kids is my pride and joy. Were you and your husband tested for an STD? Yes, okay, yes. so they said that, you know, the little girls got it. Now we're going to test you and we're going to test them. Right, and everything came back. And you yeah. and your husband came back right. with, without it. Right. Um, now, who's Sonny? That's their mother. That's their mother. Right. And that's Montego's um, ex-wife? Or... They never were married. Mother. No, they right. never, never married. How, how long have you been with Montego? I've been with Montego like 15 years. But it was like a, in the middle. It was oh. like he cheated on me with her. With her? Right. And had how many kids with her? Three. That's There's a lot of cheating. Of, that's two sets of twins. Okay. That's two sets of twins. They're just two sets of twins. Still. I mean, they was together for three years. And you were always with them? Always. You didn't, uh, were you ever mad at him that he was having children? I was, with... I'm still, I'm You're still, still mad. pissed off. All right. So I'm going to ask you to leave the stage. We're going to talk to the mom, and then we'll bring okay. you back out. All right, let's bring out the mom, Sonny. I am just curious, why are we booing her? I, I don't know. Hey, how you doing, Steve? How you doing, Sonny? Um, but this is, this, you know what, this is a totally different situation. You know what I mean? I, I, I smell something wrong right off the bat here with this. I, see, normally when somebody's accused of molestation, I don't let them sit down. But I have a big problem with you haven't seen your kids in three years. I do, too. Yeah. I okay, do why things. haven't you seen the kids in three years? Okay, Steve, um, I had let my children go spend the summer with Montego, and around the end of the summer, my house came up under foreclosed. So I asked Montego, I said, can you keep the children until I find me a stable place to stay because I didn't want to be transporting my children from place to place. Right. He said, okay, him and Brichelle said, okay, they'll keep the children and put them in school for me until I get stable. So five months go by, I finally got stable. I was looking for my kids, Steve. They had hid with my kids. They, they, they changed their number. They got their phone cut off. I was, I was Facebooking. They blocked me from their Facebook page. I didn't know where my kids was at. So months go by, months go by. 
I finally see him and Rochelle. And so I confront them. And when I confront them, they say my kids was at his family house. It, I said, okay, well, I'm going to get my kids. They was like, well, she's not going to give them to you. So I said, okay. Next thing you know, I went to their house. No one called to the door. Seeing my children on the balcony. I called the police. The police went, knocked on the door. No one came to the door. The next day I went back to the house. They had moved out. Next, you, next thing you know, they moved out. Months go by, months go by, months go by. I still haven't seen my kids. I went to the school my children was going to, and I followed the school bus to where they were staying at. So I told, I said, um, Rochelle, I'll be back to get my children tomorrow. That next day I went back, they was gone from the hotel. Okay. Rochelle saying that one of the little girls told her that you and your sister um, inappropriately touched the kids and that you let men touch the kids after you give them candy, chips, and what, what have you. You ever do anything like that? Steve, that's a lie. My kids is my pride and joy. My kids is what keep me motivated. Since my kids been away from me, Steve, I've been going through a depression stage for the simple fact I miss my kids. I miss my kids. Why would I let anybody? I, I'm, so I you've never let anybody touch your kids? I never let anyone touch my your kids. Your sister never my did sister, this? My sister, no, no. I mean, and what I don't like about this story is that you haven't been with your kids in three years. That's what, that's what I'm trying and to And your daughter out. contracted an STD. Since my kids been with them. With Montego. Mm-hmm. So I believe, I believe that your children were molested. I mean, obviously. I believe that too. It's, it's not even a question of believing. It happened. Yes. Uh, but how is it getting blamed on you when you haven't I had mean, the children in three years? Steve, I haven't even hugged my children in three years. How do, I mean, that's The last time I seen my children was from a balcony. Did, would, were your kids saying anything to you? My, my girls were saying, Mommy, that's my mommy. Once they said that, I guess Montego came out the room or whatever, and he was like, um, they was like, Mom, what, what we should do? Dad, what should we do? And he told them to hide. All right, let's bring out your ex, the father of your children, Montego. What are you talking about, man? What the are you talking about, man? What are you talking about, man? You can get it right here. Man, you run like hell, man. You not that. What are you talking about, man? What's wrong with our coach, my kids? Okay, crap like that, man. Your daughter ended up with an STD, right? Right? Mm-hmm. How did that happen? I have no idea. I'm telling you what they told me. I have to believe my kids. Okay. The doctor said what? she had it for two years almost, okay. Saudi. What did what your, you talking about, man? What did your kids tell you? The kids say that mom was selling them for chips, candy, whatever, man. That's crazy. And do you think that she would do something like I that? I don't know. I'm coming to find out the truth. But I know she had an STD. And it come from hell. Okay. Came from somewhere and it come from me. Okay. And then it come on my watch, man. I don't play like that, shout What you talking about, man? You talking crazy. Okay. For real, shout Just step off the stage for a second. For real, man. You and your wife never coached your kids the same. Man, why would I put my kids through that, man? When I see the emotion coming from you, your husband, the mother, and the aunt, it's hard for me to believe that any adult here on this stage would hurt a child. You and your wife never coached your kids the same. Man, why would I put my kids through that, man? I don't believe Sonny's the cause of you, one of your children getting an STD, I'm though. I'm telling you what the kids told me. What I, do no, you want no. me to do? I understand. To believe, Steve? Listen, I they understand told me part. this, man. And that I got to do something about it. They said, they mom. That's right. And that might have happened. But what I'm saying is, do you think that she would do something like that? Let men come in, give them chips, candy, Before stuff. Before my kids said it, I would have no, never but thought. But I'm right. I I'm saying, never thought you wouldn't think did. that would be in know. her character, right? No. Okay. And you and your wife never coached. Your kids the same. Man, why would I put my kids through that, man? If I want to take the kids, I just go to court. Why am I giving the coach for? That's doing, man. That don't make no sense, man. What am I coaching for? That's taking them through even more. We're gonna bring Sonny and her sister Chanel out. You just, 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 get, just get over here. Come on, man. Yo, you, you better get in the middle, Slow down. I'm telling you, man. This girl's sister with all this popping, man. For real, Shawty. You're a 
This is a, a really heinous accusation. It is. Uh, the kids have allegedly told the, new, uh, the stepmom and the father that you, the aunt, and their mom would touch them inappropriately in a, in a sexual abuse way, and that you would let other men touch the kids for giving them candy and chips and whatnot. And they sound pathetic. That's not, that who do that? Stupid people do that. I mean, Stupid, people do, ignorant, do it. dumb right. people do that. Yeah. First of all, then I got kids of my own. If that kids were doing, if they happened with these kids, it would have happened with my own kids. And you Why never you did this, up? right? Never. 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 You never saw your sister Never do this. in my life. Okay. I never seen anybody do it but stupid people. My. And I'm far from being stupid. Okay. I, I would like to bring Michelle and Montego out. I just would hope that we can talk. He better get his stuff together. Because, girl, he's going to get his stuff punched in his mouth. Montego, Montego, he's going to get it. That's why I want my plate. Montego. Nobody, nobody wants to restrain you. God know what we, we want to. We want to help you okay. find out what happened to God these kids, know what we know, right? So don't worry about this. That's what we're here for, okay. right? To find out what happened. Ain't okay. No so problem. you can come out and I, you can say whatever you want. I just don't want the screaming, constant back and forth. Okay. We want to get to the bottom of what happened. Yes. Sir. And if they're wrong, this is going to help you go after them, right? Yes, sir. So let's find out what happened to these kids. Okay. Let's go. Let's just <laughs> Carolina. Hold on. This. When I, and I want to say this. When I see the emotion coming from you, your husband, when I see the emotion coming from the mother and the aunt, it's hard for me to believe, just meeting you, that any adult here on this stage would hurt a child. Right. Okay? <laughs> But in this case, it happened. Right. It's, it's not a question of right. if, it did. But you're all here in the interest of finding out mm -hmm. what happened. Yeah, yeah. that's all. Right. So now, you came here and you took a lie detector test. Exactly. Fight for me. And we asked you, have you ever engaged in any sexual contact with any of your sister's children? You answered no. Have you ever allowed anyone to have sexual contact with your sister's children? And you answered no. Do you know for sure who has molested any of those three children? And you answered no. Okay. The results came back all the same. And they came back that Chanel told the truth. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sorry, Chanel. I'm sorry, too. Montego came, and as the father, he obviously wants to know the truth. And we gave him a lie detector test, and we asked him, did you make up the story that Sonny molested your daughter? And he answered no. Have you ever engaged in any sexual contact with your daughter? He answered no. Do you know for sure who molested any of your three children? He answered no. Have you ever engaged in any sexual contact with your other two children? He answered no. And the results for Montego's lie detector test is that he... I'm a dad. I got four girls. So I don't know how to react. I, for real, I thought it was a joke. My daughter comes to me and she tells me that he was the one who touched her. Montego came and we gave him a lie detector test and we asked him, did you make up the story 
that Sonny molested your daughter? And he answered, no. Have you ever engaged in any sexual contact with your daughter? He answered, no. Do you know for sure who molested any of your three children? He answered, no. Have you ever engaged in any sexual contact with your other two children? He answered, no. And the results for Montego's lie detector test, all the results came back the same for each question. And they came back that Montego told the truth. Michelle, you came here, and you took a lie detector test. We asked you, regarding Sonny's daughter, did you ever engage in any sexual contact with her? You answered no. Did you ever engage in any sexual contact with the other two children? You answered no. Do you know for sure who molested any of those three children? You answered no. Are you lying that Sonny's daughter told you that Sonny and Shell Chanel molested her? You answered no. Did you make up the story that Sonny molested her daughter? You answered no. And the results of Rochelle's lie detector test, they all came back the same, and they came back that Rochelle told the truth. Sonny took a lie detector test. We asked her, regarding your daughter, have you ever engaged in any sexual contact with her? She answered no. Did you ever allow anyone to have sexual contact with your daughter? She answered no. Did you ever exchange anything of value for sexual contact with your daughter? She answered no. Regarding your other two children, did you ever engage in any sexual contact with either of them? She answered no. Do you know for sure who sexually molested any of your three children? And she answered no. And the results came back the same for each question. And they came back that Sonny told the truth. Crazy man. This is it's crazy. crazy, but it happened somewhere, it's and now it's time it's to find true. out where it, it happened. It is. 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 The little girl has also said other people have done this, yep, okay? Yep. So it's not just you. The mm -hmm. little girl might be scared, might be intimidated. Yeah. But the fact is, everybody here on the stage now should focus their energy not about being mad at each other. Yeah. yeah. That's right. That's right. But now, focusing on who did this to this child. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. I can understand. You being upset with them if your child told you this. If a child tells me that, I'm going to believe too. Yeah. And I can understand you being upset saying, hey, I'm the mom and I'm the aunt. We're not going to do this to our own children. But the fact of it is, somebody hurt this child. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody did hurt this child. Yeah. And you could waste a lot of energy screaming at her and you screaming at him. That doesn't solve anything. And it ain't going to find out who did this. Okay. And I gotta imagine in everybody's head on this stage, in your head, your head, your head, in your head, you know somebody out there that might have done this. I bet you do. Somewhere in your mind, we can't talk about it because those that person's not here. All right. But you, there's some somewhere in all of you. You know that you suspect somebody. All right. The good thing is now, you can work together if you choose to. Tough. Impossible. Maybe yeah. impossible. Yeah. Impossible. Which, which, if you don't, then that's a shame. If you don't work together, that's a shame. I hope... <clears throat> um, but that's the most important thing, and if you waste time screaming and yelling about what happened in the last past three years, you're going to take your eye off the ball, eye off what's going to 
what's important, and that's finding out who did this to the children. So I wish well, you all the luck. You're going to be out here in the street doing this to somebody else's kids. That's right, and we need to stop it. Thank you for coming on, okay. and I hope this helps you. I hope this helps you. I wish you all the luck. And, and if they do, if they do find out who did this to the child, I hope you let us know so we can let everybody know who's watching the show that justice was done for the child. Thank you for coming out. My daughter comes to me and she tells me that he was the one who touched her. My daughter comes to me and she tells me that he was the one who touched her. Two months ago, Samantha kicked her boyfriend, Eric, out of the house because she claims that her daughter said he molested her. Oh. But Eric denies touching the young girl and believes Samantha made up the story for an excuse to get rid of him. Take a look. I'm here to find out if my ex, Eric, molested my daughter in any type of way. My daughter came to me and she told me, she was like, Mom, Eric was touching on my private. I asked my daughter to tell me exactly what happened. And she told me, Eric came in my room and he touched me. And then when I woke up, I told him to stop. And he jumped down on the floor and he crawled out my room trying to hide. And he tried to pretend like he was a ghost. When my daughter told me that it hurt me, it hurt me to my heart because I trusted him. I never thought he would do it. After my daughter came out with this, I remember an incident that happened about two years before. She was in her bed sleeping. I woke up out of my sleep because I felt that Eric had got out of bed. So I went into my daughter's room to check on her. And when I got in the room to check on her, she only had her underwear on and a t-shirt so i asked my daughter what happened to her pants and she told me that eric took them off of her i went back in the room and i asked him why did you take my daughter's pants off he told me it was because she was hot she would have woke up if she was hot and took her pants off herself since i didn't go to the police and dhr he's now going around saying or believing that I'm just coaching my daughter to say he did something to her. I would never do him like that. I was actually in love with him. It hurts because I feel like I would never even just like trust someone enough to just have them, you know, to love me because I would be paranoid about them touching my kids. If he fails this test, I want to see him go to jail. I would definitely love to press charges against him. When she comes to you and says, my daughter said you touched her. What was your reaction to that? I mean, I was in shock. I really didn't know how to react, for real. I mean, how do you react? Me, I'm a daddy. I got four girls. So I don't know how to react. I, for real, I thought it was a joke. Ever, did you ever, you know, maybe uh, give her a bath or anything like that? I don't touch her. You never I touched her? I don't touch her children. I don't even go in the bathroom when they take their bath. The most I've ever even done close to that is run their bath. We'll clean out the tub run their bath water, and they're old enough to where they handle everything else themselves. I don't be in there to do anything you, with she them. She didn't catch you in the room at night or anything like that? I don't even know what the hell that's about, for real, to be honest. But I'm saying you were, she never caught you in the room? No, nah, she ain't never seen me in the okay. room because I wasn't never there. I don't um, do that. Do you toxic. believe the child said this? Well, yeah, for real, yes. I do believe it because, I mean, this is a little girl. So she really don't even know anything about sex like that. Right. And so for her to say something like that, something had to happen somewhere. It um, had to. Do you believe Samantha coached her daughter to say that? I mean, I don't know. Why the hell Oh, you have she... children together. We have one. You have a child together. I have a little boy with her. Yes, I do. Uh, that's got to present, a, a, you know, as an awkward situation. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. A week and a half ago. No, a week ago, I had him for a whole week. Who, what mother do you know going to let their little child go with somebody that they think might be a prep? Who? Yeah, I mean, that's a good point. Okay. I asked 
Look, I asked him myself. When she told me, I said, look, Samantha, we can go to the emergency room. We can go, we can go uh, and get the police officers involved, you know what I'm saying? And we need to say? find out what the hell and going on. And what you on. say when you proposed that? Nothing. Nothing. I mean, obviously nothing. She ain't even doing nothing to try to... Now, Next you thing took, I know, you, a week later, I'm kicked out. So, you took a lie detector test, yes, right? Yes, I did. And she took one. Uh, okay. She did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not lying about that. Um, what if she fails? Like maybe she coached this. Maybe I, she I don't care. Her. I don't. That, this but has you nothing wouldn't to care, do with like, her. Like being accused of this, of people. I don't know. like. No, nah, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying, like, I don't care about her taking a lot of te tests. You're just worried about you passing. Right. Exactly. Okay, that makes I'm sense. I'm the one that's on the fire right. here, not her. Okay. Um, let's bring out Samantha. First of all, here, I believe my daughter because she's my daughter. That is my child. Well, get child. your proof. That's get my your child. Proof. That's why we Go are to here. The room. No. He made a point saying. Come on that he just recently had the son that you have together for a week, right? He had him for four days. Okay. But if he I mean, really worked, believed so that he like molested week, your daughter, why would you let him take week his son? Okay. First off, he has been a great father I to our have. son. And he your has. Children he, too. Yes, he has. Your children but too. Okay. but, go, go. Okay. but when it comes down to my daughter, <laughs> and my daughter comes to me, and she tells me, that he was the one who touched her. And then when I tell her to confront, I, I tell her to tell him yeah. exactly what she told me. At first, she changed her whole story. Because she, she must be scared. Exactly. Scared of what, though? Why would she have to be scared? And so what? You Why? told me. Why? Okay. But you here's, told okay, me. here's the thing. Um, first of all, I don't know if you should be taking something like that into your own hands. Police can use interview techniques with the child to determine if the child's telling the truth. I didn't want my child to have to go through that. Right. Because my technology. daughter... Technology. that's what they're using that's here. They the lie detector test. Anyways, I've dealt with police before in the same situation. Okay? So I know from experience okay. that... Then what do you want? If he fails this lie detector test, what would you do with that? He is going to jail. So then you I'm will call the, the police. police. Yes. Then you will go to the police. Because I have proof. The game is over. You came here to play games, and I busted you. The game is over. You came here to play games, and I busted you. This is what I'm going to say, and I, I'm not trying to make you mad, okay? I believe he didn't do it, and I could be wrong, but I'll tell you why I don't believe the story. You didn't call the police, and you said you have experience, maybe you have a reason not to do that, but... I certainly think that's always the first thing you do. Um, second of all, you then let your child go be with the guy you're accusing of child molestation, and you let your child be alone with him. He wasn't alone with him. He wasn't alone with him. Your is sick. She hardly ever leaves the house. Let's find out. She is 81 years old. Listen to her. Listen to her. Samantha, she came here, and we asked her, did you fabricate a story that Eric molested your daughter? And she answered no. Did you coach your daughter to say that Eric inappropriately touched her? She answered no. The results came back both the same, and it came back that Samantha told the truth. Now they listen to y'all, buddy. Now they listen to y'all, buddy. Now I'm starting to get nervous. Yeah, yeah, they're getting me. Now they listen to y'all, buddy. They're getting me. Yeah, they listen to y'all, buddy. Stop right now. I ain't start got to right stop nowhere. Start right there. This ain't no game. Let's go. <laughs> this ain't no game. It ain't. It's still ain't. Like, this is my child who I live for. I live for all my kids, all four of them. So, let's hear it. We asked them one question. On that night, did you have any sexual contact whatsoever with Samantha's daughter? He answered no. And the results for that question is that he did not tell the truth. <laughs> I would not bother myself I if I thought okay. for on. any second okay. that I would lose or, or, um, or be 
I, we need to go do this again. Again? Because I promise well, you. Well, I want to bring out there. Let's bring out there. Man, you know, man. Okay. Um, how you doing, man? Man, I ain't worried uh, about you. Like that. I know you Listen, ain't, but Samantha, you gotta work. Samantha, you need to hear this. Samantha, you need to hear this. You have to hear this. Um, this is a story just the way it added up. Didn't make a lot of sense. I'm, I'm, su- I'm surprised by the result. You? Um, so that's why I'm saying we need, what, we need to do what this. What do you have to add there. to this, Dan? He, to Eric came to vindicate himself today. He came to vindicate himself with deception. He and tried to employ countermeasures throughout the whole test by manipulating his breathing. There's only one reason to try to deploy countermeasures. You're lying and you're trying to beat the test. I told you that. You're trying to beat the test. I knew it. I ain't got no reason to try to beat the test. I'm actually telling you the God. You don't try to do it. He doesn't know how to do it because I caught him, okay? I know. So, I don't you had do one it. and I, I told you my back Let Dan talk. Okay. Let Dan talk. Okay, cool. I monitor your breathing, okay? Mm-hmm. And I see when you don't take a test how you breathe. And when I start the test, I watch you manipulate your breathing, okay? So the lie is over. The game is over. You came here to play games, and I busted you. You're a liar, and you're a molester. <laughs> I can't believe you did that like that, man. I manipulated. I went to security Samantha, classes, man. Samantha, Samantha, you have a friend that's here. Nadia, let's bring, bring her out. out. Bring her out. Bring her out. Bring her out. Bring her out. Why? 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 Telling me that he touched her over the phone. I heard this myself. That he touched her. I'm gonna say this. I was believing you. Man, you I was, should believe I me. I was wrong. I'm telling you, Get you should believe me. Samantha, Samantha, Samantha. Okay. This is the moment you need to be strong, though, now. You can't fall to pieces because you want to protect your child, right? Okay. That's why. And maybe the one good thing out of the show, people learn a lesson from watching it. When your child tells you you're molested, no matter what your feelings are, you call the police. You call the police. Do you understand my concern now that maybe you shouldn't have sent your son over there? No. Right? That's the point I was making. If you if this is happening to your daughter, what could happen to your son? Now, you have to go home and do what you have to do to bring charges against him, right? You got to be strong. You need to be strong now. You need to make good decisions. And you have to always something happens to your kids you call the police, all right? Come on, come on, let's go. been trying to trap me in a relationship by planning a pregnancy. She faked the pregnancy. Yeah. You now think that maybe your daughter is not yours. I just want to make sure. Um, Did you fake any of these pregnancies? No. You took a DNA test before the show about your daughter, and she took a lie detector test. You're going to freaking sit there and tell me that you love our daughter, that you're 
basically denying her because you want a paternity test? You know I've never cheated on you. You told me she. I have never cheated on you. No. I want full custody. Good luck. The way the two of you are acting, both of you should be ashamed of yourself. The only thing that really matters here is that there's a little girl, and I got two knuckleheads on my stage that are raising her. You were given a lie detector test. Did you fake pregnancies to try and keep Dennis? What do you think the results are? Um. That she lied? <laughs> Your behavior as a mother is despicable. The way you were at... Welcome to the show. My guest is Dennis. Dennis, why are you here? Uh, my ex has been trying to trap me in a relationship by planning a pregnancy. Because I met her for the first few months I met her, you know, I, we got pretty serious and I told her I've always wanted a kid, you know. And I guess she stopped taking birth control and got pregnant, so I stayed with her. How long have you dated this woman? About two years so far, on and off, since the beginning. You know. And in the beginning of the relationship, you said she got pregnant and she didn't tell you about it? Well, she, she told me about it. She told me that she was pregnant and stuff, you know, because she wanted me to stay with her. She knows I was raised to do the right thing. I proposed to her. She didn't want to do that. She knows I would stay with her and try to work it out, even though it was on and off. After we got an apartment, you know, a year and a half later, she tells me she planned my daughter and she planned, you know, So she one. got pregnant and she, you had a baby girl with her? Yes. Back up, yeah. And so then now things aren't working out, and you break up with her? Yeah, for about six months now. You know, we've been off because it's been on and off the whole time. It's finally off. Well, if it's finally off, how did she get pregnant? It, she's about six months along now. So, you know, about six months ago. Was the last time you slept with her? Yeah, six and a half months ago, you know, I did. And then two weeks after that, she slept with another guy. And How do you know she slept with another guy? She told me. That part I don't understand is if she's trying to hold on to you, Yeah. how is she trying to hold on to you by saying, I slept with another guy? That doesn't seem like it would work. I don't know why she told me that. I mean, I, I told her I caught her, and you know, someone told me that she slept with him, and she admitted to it, and then she told me the truth about a whole bunch of other lies. So and then a couple weeks later, you find out that she's pregnant? Yeah. The, well, what happened? You know, she told me she planned my daughter back on, she's pregnant again. And then five, six months goes by, she's pregnant with a boy. Three weeks later, she says she's three weeks pregnant. I'm like, how are you three weeks pregnant? She says, the last four months of my pregnancy, I lost a boy and didn't even tell you. She texts me and says, I'm in the ER, our son don't have a heartbeat, I'll talk to you later. She didn't even care, she didn't call, nothing. She texts you that message? She texts me that. Our boy doesn't have a heartbeat. She, she told me that, and she wasn't even pregnant at that time. She was just lying okay. about it. She faked the pregnancy. Yeah. She told you she was pregnant. She wasn't. You didn't lose a baby, right? I was hurt. I felt it. I thought I did, but she told me after. Okay, right, yeah. but then you found out that it, the whole story was fabricated. Yeah. Now she's pregnant now? She says she is. I don't believe her. She told me she... It's pregnant now, about six months now, and she told me the other guy, she did a DNA test with him. And she says it's mine, but I'm told you can't even do a DNA test until the baby's born, you know? Until, unless something's wrong with the baby, which there's nothing wrong. She just says that she tested with this guy. She never showed me any paperwork, nothing like that. And so she's pregnant now? She, yeah, she says she is, yeah. Well, yeah. six months. Yeah. She's got to be showing, right? I haven't seen nothing, no. You haven't seen, she just looks normal? I haven't seen no, yeah, she looks normal to me. I haven't seen no papers saying she's pregnant. I didn't see no papers for a DNA test. And so why are you here today? I want to find out if Becca's mine, if she's even mine. Cause your daughter? My daughter. Now yeah. you have doubts, and how old is your daughter? <sighs> you have to think I, about it? I know sh how old she is. She was born she? in November, about seven. Okay, so she's one and a half years old. You, I, I don't even know her, and I figured it out that fast. Yeah. How, yeah, how is. is you the father? You don't. I, that kind of makes me wonder about you. How you don't know how old your daughter is? Uh, that's because you know every month I would know how old she is, and I get to keep her, and I haven't got to see her lately, so I am thinking about you know keeping track of it. That's all. I, mean, I just think that's kind of odd. 
now you're questioning whether you're the father of your little girl. I just want to make sure so I can get full custody of my daughter. I want to take care of her. And what if you're not the father? If she let me, I will take full custody, no? You'll still take full custody. I want full custody. I love my daughter. <laughs> I, I got her name on my arm last week. You got tattooed. a name tattooed on your arm? So my question to you is, why, if things are going bad, and why are you staying with her? Well, what happened, you know, the first month she got pregnant, I was trying to figure out, you know, if it was going to work or if it wasn't going to work. She got pregnant, and, you know, I, I want to do the right thing. I told her, you know, we'll get married. And she's like, no, I don't want to do that. I said, well, I'll stay with you. I want to work it out. Okay, again, I don't understand it. If she's trying to trap you into the relationship. I didn't know it at that time, though. Oh, she later admitted that. A long way, a way after Becca was way born, after. yeah. I didn't find out till way later. But if she wanted you to be in this relationship and you asked her to marry her, why wouldn't she just marry you then? I have no idea. She's one minute she wants to be with me, the next minute she doesn't. Do you love sense, her? You know? Do you love her? I don't. Not anymore, no. You're going to freaking sit there and tell me that you love our daughter? That you're... Basically denying her because you want a paternity test? You know I've never cheated on you! You told me you cheated I on have you. never cheated on you! You were given a lie to talk to us. Did you fake pregnancies to try and keep Dennis? What do you think the results are? Um. Do you think she loves you? I think she does, yeah. Is she, is she a good mother to your daughter? Most of the time, yeah. What's she, she's never there for. She's never there for. Yeah. She works double shifts. She chooses to. She does not have to. And she doesn't even see her for a whole day. Then she goes to the bar with her <laughs> at night. Almost every night she's telling me, you know, because that's where they worked or something. She doesn't even put back to bed. When I have her, from the moment she wakes up, Every moment of every day, I sit on the floor with her from the moment she wakes up. And I don't take a shower or nothing until she takes her nap. You know, I spend every moment I can with her. Because I love her. So you, say, you would say that you're a good father then, right? Yeah. I've given her everything. And how often do you get to see your daughter? <laughs> up until... Two weeks ago, it was, you know, every week, four days a week, every week, I would get to see her. She finds out I'm talking to a girl, you know. A few weeks ago, I was talking to a girl because I want to be happy. She said, you ever talk to a girl again, you are never seeing Becca. I'm going to get child support against you. They're going to take your car away and everything else. As emotional as you just got about the way you care for your daughter, you must miss your daughter incredibly then. Every day. And she, she said, I'm keeping your baby away from you because you're dating other women. So you, she, you're not supposed to ever be with anybody ever again? No, because she wants to be with me. And you now have serious doubts because you found out that a lot during the relationship she's been lying, that she's been sleeping with other men, that you now think that maybe your daughter is not yours. I'm positive she is, but I just want to make sure. You, you just know, want to make sure. And you There's believe, that, that do you believe she's pregnant by you now? I don't know. But you believe she's pregnant? No, I don't. Why would, why would she lie about being pregnant? I mean, that's a pretty serious lie. She, you don't know half the things she's lied about. I understand, Dennis, that you think that she's a liar. But all these times of maybe pregnant, maybe not, lying about it, cheating, sleeping five times telling you that she's pregnant, why, do you, why would you keep sleeping with her, keep sleeping with her, keep sleeping with her? Um, I'm explaining it the first time she was pregnant and had the abortion. I'm like, well, I don't agree with that and stuff. And then I'm the second to... time you had a baby? No. The, the second time that she said she was pregnant it was like a week later when I was trying to tell her, you know, this is not working. She tells me she's pregnant. I'm like, you know, okay, well, I will stay. 
We'll figure it out. Then she says she had a miscarriage a few weeks after that. I'm like, you know, I'm consoling her. I wanted to stay with her for a while, make sure she was okay. And did you see any paperwork or no, anything? No, never, nothing. And the third time was only like a month later. I'm consoling her and stuff, you know. A month later, she's pregnant with Becca. I said, okay, well, we're going to do this right, and you're actually going to keep it. She told me, I'm going to keep it. I know you always wanted a kid, you know. She kept her. And she was at her mom's. I was at my mom's. And, you know, we worked, tried to work it out and stuff, and it was working. And, you know, I, I, I listened to my daughter's heartbeat, went to the hospital with her every time and all that stuff. That's when we got the apartment. Then she just comes home one day like, I planned Becca so you'd stay with me because now I got everything here, you know? And I'm pregnant again with a boy. I told her, that's it. I'm not going to be with her anymore. If she, you know, that's how she is. And I said, well, if, you're, if that's you, I'm not going to be with you, but I will support, you know, I will support the kids. I will do everything it takes. Then she's going to tell me that text. And then she texted you saying, I'm at the hospital. Our boy's heartbeat is gone. And for the last four months, she's lied about it. We had sex unprotected. When she said she wasn't pregnant with the boy, I thought she was. You know, I, she can't get pregnant if she's pregnant. So and then she sleeps with this other guy. <laughs> that makes sense, you know. I guess so. But, you know, then she sends me that, and like a week after the tax. That's great two, birth control. She's pregnant already. <laughs> you took a DNA test before the show yeah. about your daughter. Yes, I did. And she took a lie detector test concerning whether she's been lying about all these things. You were given a lie detector test. Did you fake pregnancies to try and keep Dennis? What do you think the results are? That she lied? <laughs> Your behavior as a mother is despicable. So when you ask... You're here today to talk to Kendall, confront her. Let's bring her out. You're going to freaking sit there and tell me that you love our daughter, that you're... Basically denying her because you want a paternity test? You know I've never cheated on you! You told me you cheated I on me. I have never cheated on you! You told me you did. Bull Everybody did. Oh, that I is love my daughter. Crap. Spend every moment of every day with her. Really? I want every full moment custody. of every day? Yes. Really? So when do you work? I have well, a job. But what are your hours? Nine to five. She's in my house more than she is yours. Not anymore. Especially yeah, not, not now anymore. Because you're denying our beautiful daughter. Why she turned think, 17 months yesterday. Why do you think I'm here? Because I want full custody. You're not going to I want to see my daughter. Good luck. You, you don't let me see her because you want me. Just because I won't be with you because I talked to another girl is the reason you're keeping her from me. I told you that you're because I, I want choose you to girl sign. Over her. I want you to sign your rights away. I don't I'm want you to do life. that. You cheated on me. No, I didn't because we were not together as of the end of July. We lived together. We had sex. We talked. We slept if in the I same room correctly, with our daughter. If I remember correctly, I'm a man and I have needs. <laughs> How the freak can you pers possibly even think that I'm just going to be like, yeah, here, see her, after what you just sat there and said? I still don't think she's mine because I can't trust you. Thank you. You just denied her, Dennis. Connect the dots. Denying is saying I do not want and, her. And you I might want to work on your math. Because I got pregnant two months after we started dating because you said it's better without a condom. Never was on birth control. You I, were on birth control. I never got on birth control until after I had Becca. I can't even tell you the birth control, but I won't. You know, at, at first I'm thinking, oh, you're crying. You seem like a nice guy. And then it, you kind of figure it out. You're both nuts. <laughs> I mean, how did, how did you two manage to stay together as long as you did? She was pregnant, and I wanted to do But she wasn't pregnant for a year and a half. Uh, she's pregnant so much that she was. <laughs> <laughs> you know how many times since I met her she was pregnant? <laughs> since I met her, she was pregnant. I still like your line of, well, if she's pregnant, she can't get pregnant. <laughs> 
I forgot I got pregnant all by myself. Didn't when you say are you wait. are you pregnant now? No. You're not. You're not pregnant now. <laughs> no. You I, what? I had an abortion two weeks ago. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. You. Why would I want to have a kid with you when you don't want to be with me? That's all you... Explain to me why I would want to have a kid with somebody who doesn't want to be with me. I, I guess you wouldn't. I'm not going to lie. I did plan Becca and... There you I'm, how why many, would I, how I'm many not months deny pregnant it. were you? Um, four. You were four months pregnant? And you aborted the baby? Mm -hmm. Yeah. At four months? Yes. It's legal up to six months in the state of Michigan. And why did you why did you make that decision? Because after trying to work things out with him and just try to be with him to be a family, it just didn't work. And I didn't want to bring another kid into this world that that we're going to do this over. That we're going to fight and argue. Did you do the DNA test on that one when you were pregnant that you told me you did? Yes, I did. Where's the papers? At my house. You never We're not to together. Me? Well, you, hold on a second. You, the, he is the father of your your daughter, right? Yes. And you become pregnant again, and you're four months pregnant, and you didn't even consult him. What the decision that you're making? He, I texted him. She didn't tell did me you she consult did him? I didn't know. Did you this ask? I told him I was pregnant, and I said, "What do you want me to do? It's your body. You make that choice." No, He's I did exactly not say what that. You said, and you texted me that. He said, "I'm getting abortion." I said, "No, have the baby. I can't stop you." But I want you to have the baby, we, you know. But and why? Aside from the fact that it's against your beliefs, why? That's why, because it's against why, my beliefs. Why? Why will right you thing. keep getting pregnant? Just because we slept together. I didn't. Plan. I know how people get pregnant. <laughs> but I want to know how you could take it so, you know, you're so cavalier about ending a child's life, and you know that's everybody's personal decision. But it, I think it would have more impact on you than what you're showing. Did you lie about losing the other boy? No, I did lose him. So you're but saying you were him, pregnant? I lost him sooner, and it was wrong of me because I should have told him as soon as I found out, which I didn't. And that is, I, I accept responsibility for that. She pretended to be pregnant for four months. No, not four after months. After she lost him, she told me. Were you pregnant? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we had slept together um, in end of February. And, um, Did you fake any of these pregnancies? No. So every time you were pregnant, you didn't fake any of them? No. Did you tell him that he can't see his daughter if he starts dating somebody else? Yes. Well, why would you do that? I was hoping he would sign her over. Why? Okay. Are you asked me, I'm going to be honest with no, you. No, I, I understand I, I that, mean, but why, why would he sign over the rights, first of all? He says he loves his daughter. He shows emotion over his daughter. Why would he sign over his rights? Why would you want him to sign over the rights? You're saying you want child custody, you know, uh, I don't uh, child, want support. child support from him anymore. If he'll sign it, I just, I don't I'm not want. Not sign over. I just, basically, I don't want him in her life. I want him to move on. Why? She, she wants to hurt me. That's all. <sighs> why wouldn't you want him? If he's the father of your child, why wouldn't you want him in your daughter's life? Because I don't like the way that he is with her. He doesn't like the way you are. She told me because she can't stand to be around me when she drops her off and picks her up because she likes me so much is why she doesn't. Yeah, that's it. You told our producers that the dog ate the DNA? No, I didn't. <laughs> what are you thinking of all time? Um. Uh, she lied? This is your daughter we're talking about. This is this is somebody you brought into the world, and you're acting this way with each other. Whether you like this, if really you're you're both mad at each other, and maybe you don't like each other, but you really need to look at yourselves and see the way you're acting. This is your beautiful daughter. This is how you treat each other. You see the way the two of you are acting. Both of you, both of you should be ashamed of yourselves. You know, you keep saying how bad she is, but you kept sleeping with her, kept sleeping with her. And because you were a good guy, 
No, you were doing it because you wanted to have sex with her. That's why you kept doing it. <laughs> and, and you're saying, this is the father, but I don't want him in life because I don't like him. I don't want him in my daughter's life. I mean, really, he's not doing anything terrible to you. He ain't beating you. He, ain't, he, he didn't leave you. He, he's, he wants to go on with his life, and because if he wants to go on with his life, then he doesn't get to see his daughter. Well, what, what kind of reasoning is that? You know who you're hurting? You're hurting your daughter. You're, you, you, yeah, you're hurting him, but you're also hurting her. <laughs> I'm serious now. I'm not trying to be mean to you, but why are you acting like a 15-year-old high school girl? Be... I just don't think that he'd be a good role model or father for I really But don't. that's not your decision. You, uh, ha you, really? ma you made a decision to have a baby with him. Maybe that's the decision you should have made before you had a child. <laughs> to me, it sounds like maybe you don't, you're, not, you're keeping your daughter away because you still love him. You still want to oh, be with him. I'm not saying that I don't love him. Well, do but you love him? Yes. I always will love him. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Put all the, the pettinesses aside and, and, and think about your daughter. What's, what's, I mean, that's what you have to do as a parent. What's best for my child? You, you say you were pregnant, mm -hmm. and you say you had an abortion a couple of weeks ago. Was, was he the father, or you don't know, or is I there a chance? I only slept, what happened was is that um, I slept with a week after I'd slept with Dennis, but I was not sure who the dad was. But Dennis and I weren't together when that happened. So, yeah. um, and then, but he um, could have been the father. Who the guy? The was, other guy. Yes. So yeah. and he well, how about if? Well, no. here's my question: If he could have been the father, why wouldn't you at least have a chance to find out if this this baby was his? I didn't. I, I tested him. You tested the baby. Yeah. But you're it saying, came back negative on him, so the only other person I'd slept with was Dennis, so I just assumed. I, I get 50, but if it was, 50, one so if, if he was the father, would you have kept the baby? If the other guy was? Yeah. No. So you, not, you had no intention of keeping any baby, no matter who the father was? When, when um, I found out that I was pregnant and I told him, we talked about it, we were trying to work things out. So I was like, okay, you know what, we'll work it out, we'll have another baby. And then when everything went down again, that's when I made the decision. I had the test because he had asked me to do the test. I had the test when him and I were still together. Did you ask her to have a test? I did. And I paid for it out of my own pocket. Or else you I said that you didn't believe that she had the test and you didn't know anything I, I about this I don't believe test. she ha did it. I, I have a question, actually, real quick. Can, can I ask you? You can ask any question you want. Did you have an amniotosis on the ba last baby? No. I'm told the only way that you can get a DNA... It's called an amniocentesis. Did you get that? <laughs> yes. Okay, then. <laughs> Why'd you get it? Because that's the way you have to do it. They poke a needle about this long into your stomach to I know how they do it, and they fluid. only do it if something's wrong with a baby. No, they don't, not yes, if you pay. Do. Oh, or do you get the black market or something? Because they're yeah, not going to do it, it. They got, unless they something's got those wrong with a baby. They got those tests on the black market. They're not going to do it unless something's wrong with a baby. That's not true. Yeah. Why would they endanger a baby because that's a it is it is it's a, a very serious procedure just to determine who the father is he wanted it They're not i was trying to make him happy you were trying to make him happy so you put your baby at risk i weighed the risks and they told me that why if you had no intention of keeping a baby why even have the test i was going to until we were not together anymore after the very last time what do you think the results are that she lied Your behavior as a mother is despicable. You admit that you got pregnant just to keep him. Yes, with that guy I did, yeah. You needed to get pregnant and have a baby to trap him. It's I'm just trying to be perfectly you, clear no, on this. Yes, yes. I'm not going to deny it because I know I, I did it. I mean, there's, I'm not saying it, but I know. I think if you would have just said, hey, you want to have sex, he would have stayed. <laughs> you still
still want to be with him? Uh, no. Would you like to work things out with him? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I'm not going to. Why lie about it? Well, I'm just asking you. <laughs> okay. You were given a lie detector test, and you were asked, did you fake pregnancies to try and keep Dennis? Were you pregnant at all during the last year? Did you have a DNA test done while you were four months pregnant? What do you think the results are? Um. That she lied? Well, you'd be wrong. Only because she refused to answer the questions. <laughs> I could tell you why. Well, yeah, tell me why. Because I was lied to. You were lied to. I was told the reason why I was going to come on here first off from him was try to resolve our issues. The second time was to determine fraternity with Becca and um, if I'd ever cheated on him. That was why I was com came here. I didn't yeah, realize I was here. You need to get along. So Wouldn't it be fair to know if you faked any of the pregnancies? Wouldn't it be fair to know if you were just recently pregnant? And wouldn't it be fair to let him know if you actually had a DNA test on your baby? Wouldn't That's it be fair just to answer those questions? In that private, yeah, like I said, I wasn't aware of that, that that's what was going to be discussed. These are the issues he had with you. But nobody told me that, and I didn't know he had those issues. I'm not... So you didn't feel the need to prove that you weren't lying? Yeah. So I'm, I'm going to assume by human nature that you did fake pregnancies, that you weren't pregnant during the last year, and that there was no DNA test done. Okay. That's, that's what I believe. You can't produce any paperwork that you were pregnant, were you, can you? If I went home. If you went home. We asked you for it, and you didn't provide it, right? Um, they asked me for the DNA test. That was it. Did you bring and that? did you provide it? No, because I told them I wasn't going to talk about it, which, hello. You told our producers that the dog ate the DNA? No, I didn't. <laughs> You, no, you did tell our producer that the dog ate the DNA test result. No, I didn't. You didn't? Would you be willing to take a lie detector test on it? No. No. I don't have anything to prove to anybody. You won't take the test? No. Okay. So I'm going to assume that you Fine. did tell our producer that. But you were responsive to a few questions. After the birth of your daughter, did you get pregnant on purpose? No. Are you keeping your daughter away from Dennis because he would not be with you? No. But you already admit it, you, you, you just, are. You just said that. <laughs> what? Wait. I know, when you start lying, it's kind of hard to keep track of them. <laughs> You told us that you were keeping your daughter away from him because he was starting to see another girl. And I've never been on a date since I've not been with you because of that. You had a girlfriend. No, I have not. You but you, you said 10 minutes ago, yeah, you're keeping your daughter away from him because he wants to see other girls. I don't, I, okay. No, that's what you said. I can take a lie detector test. <laughs> Besides one time, did you cheat on Dennis during your relationship? That's not the question I was asked. What question were you asked? I was asked, aside from, had I ever cheated on Dennis, and I said, no. Does it even matter, these results? It doesn't matter. You're, you're, you're a liar. <laughs> so you don't need the, the results when you establish on stage that you're a liar. Did it say that I cheated on him? No, I want to know. Because if that's true, that's, that know. is that's Well, I want to know if you told my producer your dog ate your DNA test. <laughs> no, I didn't. You want answers, I want answers. Were you pregnant in the past year? Yes. You were? Yes. Why wouldn't you answer on the lie detector test? Because it... Oh. You come out here and talk about it, but then you talked about 
having the DNA I test. I was told you we weren't going to talk about it. But you did talk Your about it. Your producers lied to me. They didn't lie to you. Yes, you lied they did. to them. No. You're the one. Nobody forced you to come out here just now and talk about whether you were pregnant. Nobody, you could have said, no, I don't want to talk about it. You talked about it. You talked about it with him. You've been talking about it freely up here. So why do you have an issue with it? What, did we trick you into talking about it? No. So what the hell? You couldn't answer the damn question? You, you demand answers from me? The only thing that really matters here is that there's a little girl. And I got two knuckleheads on my stage that are raising her. <laughs> you know, I'm looking at this result. And I don't know whether it's good or bad for you. You know, I'm looking at this result, and I don't know whether it's good or bad for you. You are the father. No, no, that's that's wonderful. That's fine. You want to take me off stage? That's fine. I just want to go get my daughter. You know what? No, you know what? That an act of violence. An act of violence. I want to see my daughter. Take me no, you know to what? my daughter. You know, what? You're just, you know what? Your behavior as a mother is despicable. The way and you, you I, I may be, but you know what? I don't go slapping my wife around. I don't go just treating the no, father. I don't bring me my daughter. This is we'll bring you. You could go, but you know what? What you're doing out there and the way you're behaving, your daughter when she grows up someday is going to be ashamed that you act the way you do, the way you lie about things, you you the way you don't value human life. It's so, oh, it's just a joke to tell people they're it a father it's a joke. It's hilarious. or they're going to have a baby and you're not pregnant. It's hysterical. Why? How did you, how did you become this way? Seriously, what happened to your life? I don't think I'm that way. The way you act, the way you lie, the way you, so, so petty. This, you, you bring children into the world with men that you can't stand. Why? When are you going to wake up and realize what you're doing? What am I doing? I mean, really, what am I doing? Besides constantly lying? I don't. You, you, you lied on my stage. I don't think I did. No, you did. Okay, fine. I'll and lie. I think you're lying. Listen, I think you're lying to Dennis. And listen, I understand. Maybe you're hurt. Maybe you want to be back together with him. But you're playing a dangerous game. You're playing a dangerous game. I don't want you to be storming out here and be mad and continue on the path that you're going down. That's not going to be healthy for you. That's not going to be healthy for Dennis. That's not going to be healthy for your daughter. You seriously have to start acting like a grown-up. I'm not trying to be mean to you. I'm telling you the truth. Your daughter needs somebody stable in her life. I'm very stable with my daughter. Don't you say might, I'm not. Listen, I'll, I'll give you that benefit. Maybe you are. I haven't seen, I don't live around you to see how you act, but I see how you're acting on that stage, and I see how you're acting with the father of that child, and that's not stable. You need to start being honest with yourself, and you need to start being honest with the father of that baby. Do you believe that Dennis loves your daughter? I believe he did. And why, why all of a sudden would he stop? I think he loved her when I first had her, and I think since then, over time, he just basically sees her as something that he has to take care of. It sounds like he's hurt because you're not letting him see the baby, and you admitted that on stage. You did say that. I said that I asked him if he was going to date anybody else. He couldn't see her because I want him to sign his parental rights over. But That's what, why. It's listen, the only reason why I said it. Listen, he's not, no, no man. Why would anybody want him to sign over his rights? If that's his daughter and he loves her, he's not going to sign over his rights. Then why would he even, why would he accuse me of cheating when I've been nothing but faithful to him and then say that she's not his? Maybe the guy's hurt. That hurt the hell out of me. Do you realize everything I've ever done for him? When we were living together and not together, 
I made sure he had clean clothes. I did his laundry. I made sure when he got home from work, there was a dinner. I packed his lunch. I made sure he was up in time for work. I would make sure he had stuff so he could take a shower, brush his teeth. I made sure our apartment was clean. I took care of our daughter. But yeah, I was a liar. I was a I was hateful. I was mean. I forgot he's a saint. He's never done anything wrong. He's never, when I was pregnant, say, you're fat. You're not attractive in those pants. You need to wear something else. Well, here's, that's exactly what I've been saying on stage for the last hour. Why stay with this guy? Why because keep getting I, pregnant with him? He's, you're saying he's calling him. you fat and everything else, and he's, he does, he's accusing you of lying and cheating. You, I, I, you, you say you love, but what's the love if he's treating you like that? I just loved him. You slapped him. When you found out the results, is it because you don't want him to be the father? Why did you hit him? Because he even doubted it. I was angry and I was, I was kind of, Maybe I he, just wanted to take my anger may, out on him. Maybe he's taking his anger out because you told him you slept with this other guy. We weren't together. He told me I could do whatever I wanted. Okay. It's time people say to each other, you obviously still have a lot of deep feelings for this guy. He obviously has deep feelings for you. It's pretty obvious. You're playing a kid's game with each other. I was going to be nice and see if he wanted to see Becca. I was going to... I was just going to be like, after the show, if you want to see if you can. And now I don't even know if I should. Because he thinks it's a game. He thinks it's funny. But you're both, but you're both playing it. You're both playing the game, and you both need to stop playing it. That's the thing. Why not act like adults and, and let him let him go out there and say, come see our daughter? Go out there and tell him he can come see his daughter. If you want to see Becca, you can see her. I want to see her, yeah. Do you want to see her now? Hold on a second. Your mom's here? Let's bring your mom up. Oh, Lord. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, I hit you. Again? What? Again? Kendall, the only reason I brought you to the show today is because you always lie to us. You, you're hurting me. You're hurting the grandparent. I love that baby girl. And Dennis loves that baby girl. We are not denying her being his. The only reason we had that done, the only reason we had that done is so we could get partial custody because we want you to be in her life too, even if we get custody. You're not. Well, we'll see about that, but. You won't. I know Dennis has his faults. You have your faults. I have worked on trying to get you guys back together. You know that. She told me she never wanted kids. You know that? I didn't, I didn't listen, want listen, kids, but I Listen, haven't we know. moved past the he said, she said stuff yeah. now? You, you do need Hold to move on. Hold on a second. On. Hold on. And at least she was big enough to come back out here okay. and, and, was, and says, you want to see your daughter. I do. Now, you need to be bigger than that about what she said to you a year and a half ago. you got to be bigger than that now. She won't let me see my daughter, too. Listen, she... Obviously, still loves you. Would like to be with you, but if you're saying that can't be, then that can't be. But then, if you don't want to be with her, there's no need to bring up old wounds. You're not trying to work it out anymore, right? Okay, so then, whatever she did wrong, let it go. I know it hurts, and this is a hurtful situation, but you're you're the grandmother here. Yeah, and it's hurting me more than anybody, I think. Right, but you know what? she's not even talking but you to know me. What? But you know what? Here's the deal. He's at fault here, too. I understand that. They're both at fault. But he comes to talk to me about it. He's your son. I understand that. She's not your daughter. She used to come to me when she lived with me for two years. She used to come please, to me. She please, used to call me mom. Please tell me that you're mature enough to know that when couples break up, maybe she's not going to be that close to you anymore. Well, I understand that, but well, she still called me mom two months ago. Okay. She's angry. That made me think that the, she was still mature enough to talk to me. She is in love with your son, and he doesn't want to be well, with her. I know her. that, but how can you be in love with somebody and sit there and treat him like that? Oh, Lord. You're going to sit there and ask him to give up paternity just so you don't have to see him? Why don't she give up paternity and let him get out of the custody? I really thought by Same bringing thing. you out that this would be a good thing. 
that you would be the voice of reason, that you would add some mature guidance to the situation, but that's obviously not the case. So you can go and go backstage. Be respectful, be kind to the mother of your child, and you do the same to him. Let's go. Every time you go see your daughter now, you think about what's best for her and not your own feelings. Understand? Yeah. Go see your daughter. Becca, hi, honey, come here. Hi. Okay, look who's here. Look who's here is Daddy. Becca. Say hi, Daddy. Where's Daddy? Where's Daddy? Daddy. Where's Daddy? Shh. Can you show Daddy where your nose is? You don't like the cameras. Where's your nose? Where's Go see Daddy. Daddy. The nephew calling out to Russell, Uncle Russell, help me. I believe Russell is a murderer. He left our babies to die. You know there's a fire. You know there's four other kids in there. You had to walk by every one of our kids, Russell, twice to get yours. How were you only able to save two children and not the other four? I didn't murder your kids. Baby killer, you're a liar. You get this miracle handed to you that you were able to save your children, but now you're being accused of abusing them. I busted his mouth, heck yeah, I did. And kicking a five-year-old. You split his lip, made his nose bleed. This whole story is crazy. Beating up little kids. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. He either punched my nephew in his lip or threw something at my nephew. Yeah. I wasn't in the room with him when he got hurt. Did you hit him in the mouth? No, I didn't, sir. Russell Blood got scared and I panicked. Oh, you did it! You did it! You crazy! He gets so mad, one day he punched the wall. His whole arm was broken because he got mad at me. But I'm not like that. Are you crazy? What is wrong? I don't think that he will pass. He told me that he did it. Russell wants to put his family back together. But his ex, Stephanie, says he's abusive to her and their children. And to make matters worse, Stephanie's sisters, Nicole and Bridget, believe Russell is responsible for the deaths of their children. You see, on February 23rd, 2005, a fire broke out in the apartment where they all were living. Russell was the only adult home, and tragically, Bridget's son and Nicole's two children were killed. Take a look. Firefighters from eight different departments, mostly volunteers, answered the call that came just after midnight. But the blaze that burned in this old second-story apartment on Milroy's Main Street proved too big a battle. With children trapped inside, heavy smoke, intense heat, and a structurally unsound building doomed efforts from the start. By late Wednesday morning, rescue efforts turned to recovery of the remains of three young victims. Six firefighters made their way back into the building, burned so badly officials say it's difficult to determine where the blaze started. It took more than two hours to recover those lost. Now investigators search for a cause. Heat so intense, investigators say it melted a steel support beam. The 27-year-old mother saved three children, including one of her own, four-year-old. Her two-year-old son died, along with her nephews, six-year-old Jacob and two-year-old Joshua. I believe Russell is a murderer. I believe he left our babies to die, so therefore he is a baby killer. I just stood there and I heard a fireman, he hollered at me, he's like, Bridget, Bridget, are you in there? And I said, yeah. He said, you got to come out. And I said, no, I got to get my babies out of here. And he said, you got to get out of there. She tried to get back in to get them, but she tried to kill herself to do it. And then my nephew hadn't made it out, but he was in pretty bad shape. They took him to the hospital. They had to cut him from his chest to his belly button. They had to pull all of his intestines out because he was so hot, he was ready to combust. Russell had to walk by our kids twice to get to his kids, to get them out. And how he could walk by them and not try to wake them up or, you know, try to get them out in some way. My oldest son was old enough, he could have helped. 
My son had also told me that that night that he tried to tell me that he made it outside by himself. And I told him, I said, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. You had help. And he's like, no, Mommy, I went down the stairs, but I couldn't get the door open. So I went back in, and I tried to save my brother, but it was too heavy, and I fell on my butt twice. My son was more of a man than this man was. Not a minute goes by. I don't think about my kids. I still celebrate their birthdays. In order to do that, I usually send a balloon up in the air to tell them happy birthday. It's not the same, you know. Russell and Stephanie were lucky enough to have their children survive. And now he's treating them like they're dirt under his feet. But Russell is a monster. I have heard him call his kids little bastards. I have seen him hit him. I have seen him knock his youngest one down. I've seen him bloody his other son's lip. A week ago, there was an incident where he had kicked my nephew and left a huge bruise. They have pictures and everything to prove that. I just wish that Stephanie would, would listen to her sisters because we love her. And I know she can do better. And her kids deserve better. Stephanie, you have your family behind you. We need you to leave him alone. Just get away from him. We will help you with anything you need. Your kids deserve a better life than that, and so do you. I need the closure. I need the truth, and I need my sister to hear the truth because she wasn't there, and she has taken every word that he says to her that he really tried, and he didn't. All I've ever asked is please tell me what happened while I was not there, and he can't tell me. I want to know, did Russell do everything in his power to get my kids out and my sister's kids out? And I want to know, is my sister done with him for good? I have Nicole and Bridget here. And first of all, I want to say how sorry I am that you lost children in this uh, horrific tragedy. You, you both, you lost two children. You lost one mm -hmm. and you saved one. Um, and you went into the fire, which had to be an incredibly uh, physically hard thing to do. Um, and you suffered burns, I understand? Uh, yeah. Um, I actually went in twice. Um, my fuse had blew on my water heater, so I didn't have hot water. And all the kids were laying in the same room, probably like this area right here. And I told Russell, I said, watch the kids. I'm going to run down to the neighbors, and I'm going to take a shower. I said, give me 15 minutes. So I went down and I took my shower. I was getting dressed. I walked over to get my shoes and I heard this horrible banging on the door. And so I went over and I answered it. And it was him standing there with two of his kids in his arms. And he said, the house is on fire and the kids are in there. You get this miracle handed to you that you were able to save your children, but now you're being accused of abusing them. I busted his mouth, heck yeah, I did. You split his lip, made his nose bleed. Beating up little kids. He either punched my nephew in his lip or threw something at my nephew. Did you hit him in the mouth? No, I didn't, sir. Oh, you did it! You did it, you crazy! But now you're being accused of abusing them. I busted his mouth, heck yeah, I did. You split his lip, made his nose bleed. And I heard this horrible banging on the door. And so I went over and I answered it. And it was him standing there with two of his kids in his arms. And he said, the house is on fire and the kids are in there. So I took So he has his two children while your four are still in there. Right, yeah. right. And he had to, in order to get his children out, he had to walk by our children twice. Once to get to them and once to get out of the apartment. And he didn't try to wake them up, didn't kick them, nothing, just left them. How old were your children? My oldest was six and my youngest was two. And how old, uh, you lost one child, how old was that child? Two years and two months old. And you saved the two month old? He was three years old. Uh, you saved the three year old. Um, but your sister then stays with this guy. To even stay with a guy that would even, you would even think that could leave a child in a burning building like that is just morbid and just sick. It hurts. It makes me more hurt than angry at her. It's like, how could you? So you you want some answers from Russell. How about the fact that uh, 
you say that he's he's lucky enough to have his children live through this and then turn around and abuse them? Yes, he should feel blessed. He gets to keep hearing daddy and he gets to have grandbabies and that's something that was taken away from me. All right, um, we're gonna bring Russell out. Let's bring Russell out. You went to take a shower. No, you shut the door. What you made out of me? You went to take a shower, right? I was there freaking 20 minutes, Russell. He was on the phone. You want to make it up today? Yeah, we will. I apologize for that. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. I have a question. Let's do this. I do have a question to ask. I'm ready. Um, you were left in charge of how many kids? In the there was uh, my two and their kids. There was six. Yeah. Okay. Um, you were able to get your two children out. Right. You run and you go get her, right? Right. She then manages to go back to the apartment and save one of her children. Well, see, that was, it was all a bunch of lies. Is that when, a lie, that what I just said? Yeah, what happened? I woke up. <laughs> I woke up to this burning fire. What is a lie? She was able to save one of her children, right? Exactly. So what is a lie? But I didn't run to get her. I didn't even know there was anybody in the fire when it broke out. You didn't know our you, kids were there, too? You were supposed to be there at like 10 or 11 to get your it kids. Don't matter. I, I was there, a friend, and I told you, 15 minutes, Russell. Well, give me 15 I went to bed. What am I supposed to wake you up You were sitting up watching TV, dumbass. Oh, really? Yeah. What, what, really? Time, okay. what time of day was this? This is, was at night. What it time? Was, like 9, 10 o'clock? midnight because I looked before I walked out the door. <laughs> you know, okay. when I worked, I was... You a, didn't realize you were the only adult in an apartment with six kids? Yeah, I know I was, but... She was so I'm asking, listen, I'm not going to judge you because I don't know all the circumstances. Right. How were you only able to save two children and not the other four? I, I woke up and I grabbed my kids out of there. I ran to the back but door because there was one. Why one. wouldn't you grab the other four? I started yelling through the house and nobody answered me. But they're little kids. At midnight, they're going to be sleeping. But what I'm trying to say is that she was supposed to have been at the show. But matter. the point is, doing? you know that she's not. You know there's a fire. You know there's four other kids in there. You know they're little tiny kids that at I midnight most kids... I didn't realize she hadn't been there to get her kids What yet. about Bridget's kids? Okay, you want to throw that? All right, that's fine. What about her kids? I started yelling for people in the house. You, you had know? to walk by every one of our kids, Russell, twice to get yours. You weren't there. You don't know what I know on. where they were sleeping. I'm the one that was there. I know where they were sleeping because they were You're sleeping right. You were the one that yeah. was there. Yeah, I was the we one We left where... them in your care. We'll, we'll see when this polygraph comes back. My son, at three years old told me, and out of your own mouth, you said, I heard one of the kids hollering, help me, Uncle Russell, right? When I was going out the right? back door. That was my That's son. That's the neighbor's no, door in. That was my son. That's and why you I kicked the neighbor's door up. in. That was my son. No, you tripped and woke up. That's why nobody. he lived. You did, yeah. you did hear somebody now. say, help me, Uncle Russell? Yeah, because was, was the, there was, was only one son, interest into this building. Right. And so when you heard a child calling for you, what did you do? I ran down the steps and took my daughter. They, the neighbor only lived like 20 feet from us. Sorry, front door. Both doors. Okay, I want to hear him answer this. I want to hear him. You're this. crazy. Just answer the question. So you hear a, a, your nephew calling for you, and you did what? I ran down the steps with my two-month-old baby girl and took my son down there, kicked the neighbor's door in, which was 20 feet in front okay. of the house. Right. And said, the house is on fire, the house is on fire, and they took off like a bullet. Him and her, you know. Ugh, Why man. didn't you go back up and get? I him? was going back up, but I I was right behind. <laughs> matter of fact, and he told me, "Don't go next door and get help." So I went across the street and was kicking liar, their door liar, in, liar, literally. Liar, liar, and it's liar. in the report too. Baby killer, you're a liar. <laughs> Everything you have just said Whatever. is a lie. It ain't no damn lie. Now, yeah, it is. You're no, also it you're also here because, fortunately, your children made it through this fire. Right. But now. You're being accused of abusing them. I don't Are you abusing my kids, your children? No. Yeah, you do. You didn't bust, but, you didn't bust your older son's he, mouth. Really? Yeah, Are you yeah a, I did. Are you I okay, is that not abuse? He stand, stood up and called me a son of a bitch, Steve. Because you let him cuss, and you let him just I busted like his that. mouth. Heck yeah, I did. You punched him in the mouth? I didn't punch him. I smacked him in his mouth and he started bleeding. He bleed. You split his lip. How old is he? He's 10 years old. You split his lip, made his nose bleed. 
and my five-year-old comes to me and says, why didn't you help me when daddy kicked me in the leg? You get this miracle handed to you that you were able to save your children, but now you're kicking a five-year-old. He either punched my nephew in his lip or threw something at my nephew. Did you hit him in the mouth? No, I didn't, sir. Did you knowingly allow your girlfriend's sister's children to remain in the house during the fire in 2005? He answered no. Yeah, they're a little angry at you because right. your kids are alive and their kids are dead. Right. Why did you shut the doors behind you? I didn't Why shut the you? doors. Nobody, I kicked them in. Nobody. Oh, you did. You felt like you did everything you could. Yes, I did. Okay. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to ask everybody to clear the stage. And I'm going to talk to Stephanie, and then we'll get to these results. Let's bring out Stephanie. How are you doing, Stephanie? I'm all right. Um, what's disturbing in this story, and I'm, I keep, it's getting like just going over and over in my head, is the nephew calling out the Russell... Uncle Russell, help me. And he didn't turn around and go back and get the, the voice, the little boy. He just continued down the stairs. And the little boy hoping that, please, somebody help me. Right. Um, do you think he's responsible for the deaths? I don't. Even though maybe nobody's at fault, there's hard feelings here. Right. People are like, hey, your kids are alive, my kids are dead. <laughs> and these are your sisters. I had, a, I had a burn up trying to get him out, but I wasn't there. You've stayed with Russell. I have, and um, I admit to it. I'm, I wasn't an idiot for it. I've, I've dealt with a lot of things. I mean, we've been together for 13 years. So we got four kids together. Does Russell abuse your kids? He has, yes. And, okay, and let's say Russell did everything he could or everything that he was capable of during that fire. Let's put that aside. But you have this miracle that you were able to save your children, and then you abuse them. Why in the world would you do that? I ask him the same thing, and I, I don't know. I don't understand it. Why do you stay with them? I, really don't know. I, just, I try to hope he's going to change, but it just... You hope he's going to change? I, I try to, but it just it don't work. But just, like, what kind of abuse does he do to the kids? A week ago, he, I had laid down with a migraine. And my five-year-old comes to me and says, Mommy, why didn't you help me when Daddy kicked me in the leg? And I said... This is a five-year-old. Yes. And I said, well, what is going on? Russell said, well, he was messing with the pumpkins. I told him to stop. He didn't do it. So I busted. I spanked him. Halloween pumpkins, right? Right. Russell kicked your son in the leg because yes. he was playing with Halloween pumpkins? Yes. And a month before Did that, you call the police? Yes, I did. So I left. I asked him. I said, can you take me and my kids to the jail until a family member comes and gets us? Yeah, sure. So me and my kids left, and we're with my aunt now. Are you not with Russell? No. You don't live together? No. He wants you back? Right. And your response to that is? No, because he's never going to change. He calls the kids names. I mean, he calls your <laughs> he calls your kids. <laughs> um, let's bring your sisters back up. Stephanie. <laughs> I would give my life for you and them kids. You know what? I about did for ours. I'd give anything to have you and the kids with us. Now, we're behind you no matter what. We're here to help you. We just wanted to have answers. Can you understand that? Oh, I know. Okay. We don't want to happen here. Here. Okay. Yes, we don't want that to happen to your kids. That ain't no more. Good. So you're done with it? You're never going back, right? No, never. I told you guys that. <laughs> Let's bring out Russell. <laughs> um, 
Stephanie, what's going on? This is crazy, man. I'm sorry. You know everything that went on. What? Okay. I know, but you know what? I, I have a question to ask. Um, why did you kick a five-year-old boy in the lake? I didn't kick him. And she's she, saying she, she, she you're saying you did. She was asleep. Oh, okay. so she's lying? Yep. Your boy's lying? I did not kick him. Your boy's lying? I nudged him with my foot. You after, nudged after him with After I foot. busted his ass, yeah, I did. Okay. Yeah, I you did. Know, <laughs> why do you talk to him do the way you, you do? Do you call your kids a I have, yeah. When I hold on, hold on. I, I see, I, you know, and I get mad at my kids too. I would never in a million years call my children names. Why wouldn't I do that? Because they're my children. And it's up to me to raise them, to guide them, to teach them right from wrong. And I don't know how much my kids would think of me if I'm saying, So if I'm capable and I have enough understanding of my brain that I'm not going to do that to my children, how come you don't think that way? That's why I'm here, Steve. That's why I'm here. You know what? Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Help. You're here for what? To get help with that. To get help. Yeah. You need help not to call your children names? What, how am I going to help you with that? You just, you just don't understand, Steve. What I don't understand. Home. You're admitting that you do it. Yeah, I have. You know what? There's some kids dead up here, which is just, you know, total tragedy. And then the kids that are fortunate enough to get through it, they got a father that abuses them both physically and verbally and probably mentally. The fact of it is, no matter what these results are, the little boy's voice probably haunts you every day of your life. Help me, Uncle Russell. Help me, Uncle Russell. But the, the, the fact is, no matter what happens on this stage, you're just, you're just a bad guy. You're just a bad dad. That's what you are. I'll say this. I'm glad you're not my neighbor. Russell, you came here and we asked, did you knowingly allow your girlfriend's sister's children to remain in the house during the fire in 2005? He answered no. Beating up little kids. He either punched my nephew in his lip or threw something at my nephew. Did you hit him in the mouth? No, I didn't, sir. Oh, you did it! You did it! You cried me! Did you knowingly allow your girlfriend's sister's children to remain in the house during the fire in 2005? He answered no, and he told the truth. Exactly. Exactly. I love them kids, man. We took care of them kids, didn't we? And I love them and kids. And now look how you're taking care of your kids now. I don't beat my kids, man. You bust them in the mouth. Yeah, because he called me, stood up, called me a son of a bitch. How about the kid playing with the pumpkins? He was picking them up and dropping them, picking them up and dropping them. It's a pumpkin. But let's find out about this. Did you hit your son in the car last month with excessive force to shut him up? And he said, yeah. He did. Do you discipline your children to intentionally hurt them? And what did you answer? No. You said yes. You confessed. You did. No. Is this I'll a lie? Smack them now. Yeah, you said yes, right? Let's go on. All right. Did you kick your son with excessive force last week? What did you say? No. No. And it came back that you didn't tell the truth. You're a real tough guy, huh? Daddy's really wearing a belt. Daddy knows how to dish off discipline. Yeah, this is crazy. This whole story is crazy. You get, to, hold on, hold on. You get this miracle handed to you that you were able to save your children. And then what do you do? You bust them in the mouth, call them all kind of names, and kicking a five-year-old. I wouldn't even kick a dog, and you're kicking your own child. The greatest thing about doing the show is I get answers from people, I get to expose people, and I don't have to expose you. Your own answers, the way you talk, the way you treat your wife, the way you treat your kids, you expose yourself. And I hope everybody back home from where you are sees you and just feels the same way I do. Man, I'm glad that guy's not my neighbor. Because you certainly wouldn't be kicking my doors down trying to save my kids. Get the hell off my stage. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Um, so the two sisters that lost children in that fire, I hope, <laughs> I hope it helps in some way that you know that maybe he didn't intentionally just leave your kids there. Um, but the truth of it is, I believe when you lose a child, nothing's ever going to make you feel better. You've got to go on with your life. Yeah, no, we can You've got to enjoy go. it. Um, you have to take care of the kids that uh, you do have. Um, but I hope that you're able to go on and, and find comfort in your family and each other and love each other. Um, for the two sisters, I'm going to ask you to leave the stage. Thank you for coming on. No need to sit down. Show's over. Pick a door time, right? And, I, I, you know, I could be wrong, and I'm sorry if I am, but I think you're going to go back. I, I, I'm just telling you, I think, even, you know, eventually he's, Russell's going to come and, you know, do something, and you'll, oh, I love you, and you're going to go back, and your kids are going to pay the price for it. Um, but this is pick a door time, and I do like to see, you're showing the world, you're showing the people back where your home is. What are you going to do? Are you going to go back to Russell? Or are you walking out that door and say, you are never going to touch my kids again? That's exactly what I'm Well, doing. let's see. Beating up little kids. He either punched my nephew in his lip or threw something at my nephew. Did you hit him in the mouth? No, I didn't, sir. Oh, you did it! He gets so mad one day he punched the wall. His whole arm was broken because he got mad at me. But I'm not like that. Are you crazy? What is that? I don't think that he will pass. He told me that he did it. Tatiana believes her two year old nephew was abused. And she's accusing her sister's ex fiance, Chris. Chris admits that he may have hurt the boy by accident but says he's not an abuser. But Tatiana says that Chris confessed to hitting the boy in the mouth, and she's here for answers. Take a look. I'm here to uh, prove to my ex fiance Tina, I did not abuse her son. I accidentally busted his lip while he was throwing a tantrum, and I take full responsibility of it. The second incident, when he was in my care, I had nothing to do with it. I explained to her that her son and her um, little brother was playing in the room while I box break fell on him, but she believed that I punched him in the mouth. Because of this, we no longer had no relationship. We haven't been together for two years, but I still come around to take care of her younger son, the one that calls me daddy. Ever since we broke up, I've been trying to get back with her, you know, I beg, I plead, I cry, you know, but she still, in the back of her head, felt like I punched her son in the mouth. I'm still in love with Tina, unconditionally. I can't live without her. I would never do nothing to harm her son and her younger son. I would still love to be in their life and take care of them and love them just like I love their mother. I'm hoping that after today that I will get my family back. But if not, I want to deal with the consequences and still be there for them three, no matter what. Um, Tatiana, why are you here? Steve, I'm here to find out if Chris abused my nephew. And what, what happened that makes you think that he abused him? Well, my oldest sister and my sister Tina went to take a walk to the store. It was really cold outside. We all thought that Chris was a good man. So we figured, okay, let's leave the kids with Chris. So when they got back from the store, Chris was all frantic. Oh, he had to tell Tina something. The baby fell out in the tantrum. He was trying to keep him quiet. He, How old was the baby at the The baby time? was two years old and one was 10 months. The baby fell out in the tantrum. He was trying to keep him quiet. And... He was shushing him, and he put a sippy cup in his mouth and accidentally bumped his, bust his lip. I'm a mother. You have to shove that sippy cup in his mouth or smack him in his mouth to bust his lip. Ain't no way. So my sister was going to call the cops. She was having a fit, and my older sister told her to calm down, that I think that you're overreacting. He haven't been around kids. Maybe it was an accident. So she thought about forgiving him. They've been together for a year and a half, so we thought, okay, nothing happened in that year and a half, so they was going to do good. So me and my sister decided to take a walk to the store. We was going to leave the kids with Chris. When me and my sister got back from the store, my nephew lip was busted real bad to the point that there was blood coming out of his mouth. His teeth was... The twisted. same nephew? Yes. And now how old is he now? He when is, this happens. 
when this happens, he's like four years, four, like about to be four. And his teeth is pushing his gums. We brought him to the dentist and his teeth is dead. They said his teeth was dead. Chris said that the little, my little nephew pushed a box spring that was against the wall onto my oldest nephew. The two-year-old pushed a box spring yes. on a four-year-old. Yes. And the box spring, I could hold it with my pinky. It's, it's not even heavy. So he either punched my nephew in his lip or threw something at my nephew. Why would he hit a little kid like that? I really don't know, but I know two months after that, I asked him, did he hit my nephew? He told me no. Then I told him, since you're so in love with my sister, if you hit my nephew, you lying is not going to make it better. You need to tell her the truth. He started crying and told me that he did it. And have you ever talked to your nephew? Yes, I did talk to my nephew. He told me that he hit him. How do, what is your sister? You talk to your sister? What does she believe? I talk to my sister. My sister don't know what to believe. She really don't. Is she still dating him? or? No, she's not. She's she taking her son's side. She broke up with him. She told him to take a lie detector test. Now he's here to take now a lie detector test. Now he's here to take a lie detector test after all this time. What if he passes? If he passed the lie detector test, I will apologize. I don't think that he will pass. He told me that he did it. And that's what I believe. I believe my nephew. Let's uh, bring Chris out. You told me that you hit my nephew. No, I, didn't. I don't believe you. All, at the all, table that night, all, you told night, me that you hit my nephew. I don't everything. believe you. I'll tell you about the Chris, you're a liar. Second of all, you're a liar. All you do is think about Tina. You're trying no, to be daddy. You're trying Whatever to play daddy. Because you're trying to get close to Tina. I don't believe you. He gets so mad, one day he punched the wall. His whole arm was broken because he got mad at me. But I'm not like that. Are you crazy? What are you doing? And we asked him, did you hit Tina's son on the day the matches fell? He said, no, matches hit. What do you think your test came back is? Two years ago this happened, the boy ended up with a bloody mouth, right? Yes. What happened? I was upstairs. I heard the boomer came downstairs. After that, I brought him upstairs. Those came to him. He was dropping down on the floor having a, temp a temper tantrum. He's two months. He's two years old. Yeah, so at the same time, I got mad and I said, stop doing that. As I was hushing him up, I happened to be a little too harsh on him. And you too Yeah, I, I was a little too harsh on him. Then when did they, you feel uncomfortable that this isn't even your child? Yeah, I did. I did. I did. And then after that, when she came home, I went straight down there and confronted her about it. Because I take that in high consideration with kids. I love kids. I was sad about it. I was scared. You know what I mean? Cause Why I were you scared? Because I never been through that tra transaction. And I'm not like that. That's not my lifestyle. Chris, I don't even I confronted, I confronted my son's mother when she got home. But then, but then she said, hey, I want you to take a lie detector test. Yeah, and at the same time, when, um, when she said that, I was willing to do that. And you did And um, I would say, we're gonna, I'm going to pay for it out of my pocket and do it. Why we, should we do it nationwide? Because people, you know, nobody needs to be in our business. Exactly. And then at the same time, she was with somebody. And that hurt me so bad where I was depressed. You know, I messed up. You know, I meant to my wrongs, and I lost everything I ever had, my family. And, and you broke up, right? Yeah, we broke up. After the first incident? Yes. Okay. So you've been broken up for two years now. Mm -hmm. So the second time, now the kid's four years old, mm -hmm. and he gets a busted mouth again. I cleaned up me and my ex-fiance room. I had the box ring against the wall. I left the boys to play in the room, whatever. I was in the kitchen listening to the music, you know, and cleaned out the kitchen. I was trying to get the house ready, have a nice hot meal for us all so we could eat like a family, watch movies. All of a sudden, I heard a scream. He comes out with his hands in his mouth. You know what I mean? He pulled his hand off his mouth. I saw blood. I got scared and I panicked. You know? Why? Because I didn't know what happened. I don't know who listened to music and clean and out. My kids are in the back room I by the I catered to him and whatever. As a stepfather, I supposed to be to him. But you were scared and, and nervous because he had a bloody mouth. Yeah, and I was like, oh, snap, she's going to blame this on me. And Did then, you hit him in the mouth? No, I didn't, sir. I'm not like that. I went but over. if you fail it, it means you're beating up little kids. And if kids. you fail yeah. it, you're going to jail. Um, <laughs> but you feel pretty confident that you're going to tell the truth, right? Yeah, I just want to tell nothing but the truth. Right. I, you and I mean? you, want, uh, you want Tina back. I do, but if, I mean, if it's in God's will. But if she made that decision not to take me back, that's something I have to deal with. Okay. Well, let's meet your sister, Tina. Mm -hmm. First of all, when I came home, 
I, you were washing dishes. Why would you wash the dishes if you peeing it? Why didn't no, you call it? Why didn't you call an ambulance? And nobody was trying to call it. My mom and the child get hurt. You rush to the hospital. Why didn't you run for that one? I, I did. I was no, you did not. No, you did not. Yes, I did. I had to bring my child to the hospital. Yeah. Yeah. I had you to bring my child to the hospital. You brought him late at night. No, what you mean I brought him late at night? I brought my child to the hospital. What are you talking about? What you call it? I was trying to get somebody to answer. You know what? You know what? You sound really sick. I didn't hear him. You were carrying some dishes. That's what you were saying. I was I catered to him. And you were doing this. You were doing dishes for her when she was seeing somebody else. No. No, no, I was catering to my stepson. Catering to him, Chris? Catering okay. to him? Do you love this guy? He's trying to get him help. Do you love this I have guy? love for him. Do you want him back? It's been so long. I don't think so. I don't know. I, he took too long to take this test. You know what I mean? Right. But Two see, years, it, a long it, time. It's not about him loving me. It's about my son. Do you think he's capable of beating up kids? I don't want to believe it, but when you talk to him, he, he cracks under pressure. I think he can. He gets so he mad. Can. One day he punched the wall. His whole arm was broken because he got mad at me. If he passes this lie detector test, because baby, you know, Maybe he does pass. Would you take him back? I can't say. I, I mean, I don't know. It's been too long. I don't know. I, my heart might change. When's the last time you were with him? You mean with him, like, as far as dating him? Sexual. Mm, three, like, three years. Oh, it's been that like, long. Yeah. Has it been yeah. that long? Eight or nine months. You're Eight or nine months. You're a liar. You're a liar. You're a liar. You're a liar. With those three years, we you're walked outside. Yes, we have. Yes, we have. Let's get to the we side. Have okay. Side. Okay. We have this. We have this. With those three years. You're a liar. You're a liar. You're a liar. You're a liar. You're a we have done in your dreams, in your dreams, in your dreams. Maybe you bugged out. You, bugged out. Bugged out. you, bugged out. you okay. want, you want to do something. Mm. You're obsessed with my sister. You want to do something. Nine. You're bugged we out. We have. You don't remember. It's not even about that. that. When, not. when you were hitting that wall, you probably didn't mean it. Hit it hard enough to break your own hand, right? No, I didn't expect to break my hand. At all. Right. You wouldn't want to do that, right? No. Couldn't you have used maybe a little more force than you thought on a little boy and cracked his mouth open? I be honest with you, I didn't hit him hard like that. But yet. you did hit him. I was a little harsh. I was a little too harsh, and I confronted yeah. her when she came home. I mean, you're a big guy. Yes. Oh my God. And we asked him, "Did you hit Tina's son on the day the matches fell?" You said, "No, yeah. matches hit him." Did you cause those injuries to Tina's son's lip and teeth by hitting him on the day the matches fell? And you said, "You said no." no. Have you ever hit Tina's son with excessive force and injury? <sighs> no. You said no. What do you think your test came back is? Have you ever hit Tina's son with excessive force and injury? No. You said no. What do you think your test came back as? Pat? No. You failed everyone. Oh my god! <laughs> What, um, how many times did we give you the test? Uh, two times. Two times. Well, can I? Um, and you failed it two times. Oh, my God. Uh, okay. How did I fail? Yeah, I was not Hold on. Cleaning up, he was in the room with his son, and then all of a sudden he started you know screaming. What? I was in there. You know you can do it again. Hold on. Um, and I think about like oh how it is to be I'm tough, like how it is to be tough, tough guy with a little kid. I'm not no tough I'm guy. I'm gonna show you, you two year old. I'm gonna show you, you four year old. Bam! I did not do it. It's easy to be tough with kids, right? I did not. It's easy to be tough with kids. Again. Do it again and what? I I I and hope and pray that the results are different? No. Beating up little kids. I understand what you're saying, sir. But you was, understand? I, I was, you understand? I was in the room with him when he got hurt. You know I was what? in the kitchen. You know what? Know, the greatest you know. thing is now, there's a little boy out there that's four years old, and oh the <laughs> that punched him twice in the mouth oh is not going to be around anymore. Get off my stage. <laughs>
the good thing is you broke up with this guy. You haven't been with him. Um, you got your answers today. Take care of your kids. Be careful who you let watch him. Good luck to you. Kelly's teenage daughter claims that Rob molested her. But Kelly's sister Stacy used to date Rob, and she believes Kelly is fabricating these accusations. The lines are drawn, and these sisters have chosen sides. Now, they need a lie detector test to find out the truth. These results and more on today's Steve Wilco Show. molested my daughter. You want to come out of here and run your damn mouth? Who goes, sir? This is a teenage girl saying on three occasions you pivot her down, you force yourself on her. I don't know why. He loves kids. Everybody in the world knows you're a freaking pervert. I was there you when you wasn't you for your kids. Stop. When my daughter comes to me and tells me that he did touch her, kissed her, put her on the ground. Yeah, I believe my daughter. You know you did it. Let's find out. It's way too many details for her to just have made this up. You're here because you're accused of molesting your own daughter. I didn't do it. She described details. I don't care. What she gave doing. details about you, not me. She's also accused of molesting your daughter. It was an investigation and they closed it. But in this incident, it never happened. I don't trust my kids. What if she fails to lie to talk to I would want custody of my kids. Both parents, accusations of child molestation. She'd come to me on October 9th of last year, said, Mom, we need to talk. I said, I'm here. What do you want to talk about? And she said, do you remember the party we had on July 4th? I'm like, yeah. She said, Rob did some things to me. And I said, what did he do? And she said, Mom, he grabbed me, threw her against the camper, kissed all over her, rubbing all over her body. I said, are you serious? Come on, you know, don't tell me this. You know? And I just start breaking down and crying. She goes, that's not it, Mom. And I go, what do you mean that's not it? She goes, well, it happened two times at Aunt Stacy's too, which is my sister. So he's done this three times to my daughter. At Stacy's, he's, she was in the living room. He kicked her feet out from underneath her, got her to the ground, pinned her to the ground, kissed all over her, rubbing all over her, put his hand down there again, tried to get up. He wouldn't let her up. Finally, when she did get up, she tried to go up and get Stacy. Stacy would not get up. She didn't call me until after the next day, but she never even told me until October 9th, said she was too scared. Your daughter was too scared. My daughter to was too scared. She was afraid to break up the family. She was afraid me or her dad wouldn't believe her. You know, this is my sister. This is her uncle, more or less. We've known him for nine years. How can you do this to my daughter? I mean, um, I just don't understand. When your daughter came to you and told you these things happened, what did you do? I called the police where I live. And, and what happened? <laughs> Nothing. They claim it's under investigation. But the person he lives with... So Were what? you able to confront him? My husband confronted him on October 9th, the day my daughter told me. He denied it, called her a liar. My sisters called her a liar. If my daughter is such a liar, then why, when they all go out on their parties and their bike rides, my daughter's the top of the subject? My whole town knows about this situation. They come up to me also. I heard your daughter... Come on now. She's a teenager. You know, you ain't got nothing better to do but sit in a bar and talk about me and my kids? Really? Um... What did your sister say about all this? She, I'm a liar. I'm a liar. I coached my daughter into making up this story to ruin her life, to ruin her and Rob. Why would you? Now, from what I understand, you guys were all very close. We were. And very, very close. Why would you want to destroy this? I wouldn't. I mean, I, I, I adore my family. You know, we always used to hang out, cookouts, picnics, everything. You know, but when your child tells you something, as a mother or father, you tend to believe your child. You know, and as a mother or father, <laughs> as a mom and dad, you also know when your child is lying. I do. You know, my kids get that grin on their face like you wouldn't believe. And my thing is, he molested my daughter. Okay, granted, it wasn't rape. He didn't have Zach Blue sex. He didn't do the whole thing. But, but uh, listen, no father's going to be happy hearing what your daughter said. Exactly. Um, what was your relationship like with uh, your sister's boyfriend? It was 
you know, okay. It wasn't the greatest. I mean, Rob was a very funny, outgoing guy. Very flirtatious. He flirted with everybody, even younger kids, you know. And looking back now, you're like, oh, that's why he was calling her sexy. Oh, that's why he tickled that little girl until she laid on the ground. What guy goes up in here on a little girl? Did you see this? Oh, yeah. And what did you say to him? We didn't say nothing at the time because who thinks, you know. Well, when he makes a little girl. But well, we would say, say you know, Rob, enough. That's enough, Rob. Stop, Rob. No, it's funny. I like to see her giggle and laugh. I'm like, really? She just, you know. Do you, do you think he's capable of doing something like this? Yes, I do. And I think he's done it to other people, too. Um, what do you hope happens today? The truth. The truth. You I'm nothing truth. but a liar. My daughter's nothing but a liar. We're no good. This will show who's lying, who's telling the truth. I know my daughter's telling the truth. She would never lie to me. Do you think if, if, if he does fail this lie detector test that you and your sister will be able to no, catch things up? never. Never again. She, I put my daughter's life into her hands. I let her go to her house thinking my sister would protect her. You know, and I, she comes home and tells me she was molested. Let's bring out your sister, Stacy. Let me tell you something, Kelly. Let me tell you. You want to come out and play it in your mouth? You bleed it in your mouth. You don't do that. If you're scared of the guy, you're not going to go around him. What if he fails this lie detector test? Then I'll help you put the handcuffs on. This is a teenage girl saying on three occasions you pinned her down, you forced yourself on her. I don't know why. What if he fails this lie detector test? Then I'll help you put the handcuffs on. Is that true that she had brain surgery? She had a tumor, yes, and they went in to take the tumor Twice, out. Twice, Steve. What's that Twice. got to do with anything? Well, maybe that's why she didn't get out of bed. Or... Stop! On seizure medicine. My daughter was there to help her. Medicine. And she never came well, that upstairs. Makes... Bull. Steve, bull. That, that makes... Who cooked your food? Cleaned your house? That's a pigsty. R it who? wasn't you. you. you what, was it your daughter? Yeah. Let's get and to the spot. Get Let's by get to the bottom of it, Kelly. And get You're just as your much of a... She is. Yeah, we'll Who see. coached her? Go believe Why does she follow him down the bike night every Wednesday, so Kelly? We were there too. Be a mother. We were there. Be a mother. I'm the one sick, not you. You Your be a damn mother. Has nothing to do with it. It does when you do this on my living room floor. Sympathy, sympathy. You're, it's, you're, you're about you. it's about you. It's about my daughter. It's about you're, my you're daughter. Pathetic. You're, you're pathetic. You're um, pathetic. Before this incident happened, you weren't this way to each other, right? It's no. been off and on like this constantly with her. Why? Because she thinks she's better than everybody else. Yeah, okay. She thinks that her life revolves around her. Her kids go wherever they yeah. want to go to do. Okay. She's never there. Yeah, that's why never. I have a life with my kids. Do you what have do you, a life with yours? Yeah, what do you do for a living? Does it matter? Not a I damn do? thing, I'm a but stay at home. At home. I Not a damn home. thing. But I have no. anything to do with I'm, my I'm kids. I'm going to ask you to leave the stage just for a moment, and then we'll talk to you again. Um, <laughs> why would she make something like this up? I believe that her daughter, her daughter's been infatuated with Rob from day one at six years old when I first got with him. It was cute. It was, you know, sure. it was always, it always is. Little girl crush. And he, yeah, and he loves kids, boys, girls, it doesn't matter. He loves children. He is my ex boyfriend. Some people boyfriend. are just like kids. Yes. He I'm, is, I'm not saying right. that about him. He's my ex boyfriend. And I would not be standing here today if oh, I was. Oh, you're not thought even together with no. them? No. Why'd you guys no. break up? Because of them. Because of her and her husband and the whole situation in the summertime. She, she didn't never bring up my house till she Do you two believe this ago. is possible that no. your boyfriend uh, maybe kissed her, no doubt, pinned her down? Never. He no. didn't do this. Never. But we knew, we knew because she's had this infatuation with him. She she says things that shouldn't come out of a girl at that age. Like what did she say? Well, for instance, when she gets of age, she's gonna take him away from me. 
Oh, she said things Absolutely. like that. Absolutely. Anybody else hear this? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Another family member has heard it, and not to mention, if she, she keeps bringing up the fact that he, she's scared of him. If she's so scared of him, why is she walking down to bike night to see him every, every Wednesday if you're so scared of him? Um. <laughs> you don't do that. If you're scared of the guy, you're not going to go around him. What if he fails this lie detector test? Then I'll help you put the handcuffs on him. I'll help our police department put the handcuffs on him. I don't believe he touched him. Oh, if he, if he fails, could you possibly work your relationship out with your sister? Hell no. no. Okay, that's fair enough. I was sick, and she was not never there for me, and I don't, I don't need someone like that in my life. Let's bring out Rob. Yep. How you doing, Rob? Good, how are you? Um, you were in a relationship with uh, uh, Stacy. Yes. And uh, it got so bad with these allegations that you two broke up over it. Yes. Okay. A um, little uh, teenage girl is saying on three occasions, you pinned her down, you forced yourself on her that you you stuck your tongue in her mouth. Um, did you ever do any of these no, things? No, Why do you think she's saying this about you? I don't know. We, we used to be real good friends. We was all real close. And then me and, me and Stacy broke up, and then now this is what I'm hearing. Exactly why did you guys break up? Over the, over them. Over them. Yeah. The drama. About these allegations. The drama. Drama. Not just these allegations, drama. She's Weren't you guys drama. once all tight though? Yes. Didn't you During guys? the summertime before all this stuff started coming out, we were and it got to be an issue. Um, you know, him and her husband weren't coming home decent hours and they I weren't was coming sick. home at decent hours. Right. Oh, you were out going out drinking. Going out with to, oh yeah, her at the husband. bar where yeah. I'm at every week, but her husband was at the bar every day with him and that was okay. And I'm home sick with tumor going through radiation. Uh uh, I'm done. If I can do this on my own with having a boyfriend, I'll be by myself and do it on my own. This isn't like a lot of stories we do where it's like a six year old girl or five year old girl. This is a teenage girl. Mm -hmm. um, do you drink a lot? I used to. Did you drink a lot when these occurrences, uh, allegations were made? Mm, yeah. Yeah, you were drinking a lot. You never got so drunk where you were like, you know. No. You're like, yeah, she I looks was, good. Uh, no, I was still able to ride my bike home, so. I well, that doesn't mean anything. Well, I mean, to there, me, there, to me there, it is. Well, that shows to me that you have really bad judgment. Uh -huh. That's it. That was one of our biggest problems. You didn't come home till three thirty in the morning, drunk off. Right. Stuff. I mean, if you're that drunk, where you, you get, don't get on, on that bike? Like, I have a motorcycle too. And I wouldn't have one beer and get on my motorcycle. I, I would be like, know. no way, because I don't want to kill myself, right? It's bad enough in a car. Motorcycles even ten times worse, right. right? So you'd get drunk and then get on your motorcycle and drive home. Right. So if you're not thinking clearly enough to do that, wouldn't you act inappropriate with a uh, teenage girl? No, I know. I know I wouldn't do that. When my daughter comes to me and tells me that he did touch her, kissed her, put her on the ground, yeah, I believe my daughter we asked Rob, did you ever intentionally sexually touch Kelly's teen daughter? He answered no. And the results for your lie detector test. When my daughter comes to me and tells me that he did touch her, yeah, I believe my daughter. You ever call this teenage girl sexy? No. Never? No. You ever call her sexy? No. Well, I mean, you were around him a lot when he was I around now. There was okay. No, no. okay. He avoided her at all costs every chance. She used to follow me to the bathroom, and then I had to lock the door yeah. to okay. the point because but, she okay, kept begging. Okay, the point is, though, she's a teenage girl. But oh. we went to Kelly. We went to my sister and told her, you've got to get a handle on this. The girl's not thinking right. She needs counseling. Any reason she why she, help. the teenage girl, would make this up? I don't know why. How has these accusations affected you? It's, I'm very upset, and I'm just... I've been, and is that what caused you to stop drinking so much? No, I I, I quit drinking when uh, me and her split up. Why is that? It's because I was trying to get her back. Oh, so you, are you still trying to get her back? Yeah. Okay. That's a good start. Um, let's bring out your sister back out. Let's bring Kelly back out.
How you know what you, you did don't to swear, her. Don't swear. You know you did no. it. We Look, they, we, stop swearing. 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 Did you never call her sexy? No. You're a liar. Okay. You call all no. the kids no. sexy. No, I did not. Oh, are you serious? Yes. You never called no kids sexy. No. Oh, you never tickled them till they found you in the ground. Prove it. Come on. Oh, yeah, you're her mother. You were sitting right there. You shut Get up. up and you do shut something. up. You're, you're, the you're the mother. It's you're about them. the mother. Uh, it is about me. Your husband, your good friend, right? Not Ron, no more. Ron's good friend. Ron, let's bring him out. My kid needs help. Okay, let's start. Excuse We're not going to fight. Right? Excuse me? My kid needs help. Absolutely. We've been telling you that for months, Ron. Listen, Ron. Listen. Don't try to be you a dad start, now. You start, don't try to be a dad now. You start the story of this, to be a dad this tumor now. thing for pity for you. This ain't about you. You shouldn't even be here. Pity? You should not be here. I'm here because you said it happened in my house. You it's should that's be why here. I'm here. That's why that I'm pervert. here. Oh, oh, he's okay. the yeah, you, yeah, I was there. I was there at your house when you drink. Wasn't. You don't drink. You wrecked your butt drinking when he was out. So yeah. you. But you quit. He quit. You've been friends with him for a long time, right? Eight plus years. Eight plus years. You guys went bike riding and stuff together. Get right? everything together. Okay. Good friend. At, I at, thought before this happened. Good friend. Yes. Okay. Good friend. I would never think in my He's mind, our house. even closely in my mind, that he would do anything. So you believe that he did this to your daughter? Yep. When my daughter comes to me and tells me that he did touch her and kissed her, put her on the ground, yeah, I believe my daughter over him any day. Um, you hit. Why did he take national? Why did he take national television? I said, let's go to Pennsylvania, take the lie detector. We did. Yeah, we it. did. You got to come on TV to make him we look like a did. fool, okay. and you're we'll going to look like the fool like when it comes out. He's We're a pervert. Okay, you're going to look like the fool when you go, when it comes out. Yeah. Yeah. How are you going to feel now? Yeah. How you going to feel now? How you going to feel now? I know it's going to come out. No, you know you don't. Let me ask a question. I think everybody agrees on stage, even her. If he fails this, that everybody wants to cooperate with the police and see him Absolutely. go to jail. Yeah. Nah, just, she'll go right home with my up, Shut point. up. She's yep. not with him now. She said that. Yeah. Be gone. Okay. He but was if, just there last week. But if he were to pass this test. I'll apologize to him on TV right here, right now. Yeah, on your on your knees, knees, right? Oh, he ain't getting oh, on his knees. Get on knees. I don't think apologies need to be made on your no, knees. No, because but. nobody's going to make one of me because I don't want nothing from her. And what would you do if he passes this? I'm nothing. I just, no. okay, I'll deal with my daughter when I get home, but I'm done with both okay, of them. Fair we'll enough. see. Let's find out. <laughs> You're saying if you pass this lie detector test, this might be another thing to help repair this relationship? Yes. For you? Yes. Okay. Hey, would you be open to that possibility? I don't know. I, don't know. Okay. I couldn't honestly Well, the one thing is, point. you know, it's she start, suffers start. a brain tumor. Yeah. If you're out drinking, she it's needs your help. It's not about her tumor. Mind your business. Okay. About it's about either. my daughter. Mind That's why business. I'm here. Shh. Shh. Kelly, uh, you want sympathy. It's not about you. You, uh, we asked you to take a lie detector test. I'm sure I took one. We asked you, are you fabricating a story that Robert molested your daughter? And you answered no. Did you coach your daughter to say that Robert molested her? You answered no. Did your daughter really tell you that Robert molested her? You answered yes. And the results for your lie detector test is that you told the truth. Now what? Now, I don't lie. I have no reason to lie. That's all right. Good. Now remember that. That doesn't mean your daughter didn't remember lie. Remember that. That doesn't mean your daughter didn't remember lie. Remember that. It doesn't mean your we daughter didn't lie. lie. My daughter has no reason to lie. It ain't over yet. It ain't over yet. Yeah. It ain't about you, so you can just go in the back. Shh. In times of extreme intoxication by your boyfriend, did you ever see him do anything really inappropriate? You were like, ooh. With adults. With adults. Liar. Adult women. Oh adult God, women. A liar. Never children. She's lying. Ever. We asked Rob, did you ever romantically kiss Kelly's teenage teen daughter? You replied, no. Did you ever intentionally sexually touch Kelly's teen daughter? He answered, no. Did you ever ask Kelly's teen daughter to give you oral sex? You answered, no. Did you ever stick your hands down Kelly's teen daughter's pants? You answered, no. 
and the results for your lie detector test came back all the same, and they came back that you, you're here because you're accused of blasting your own daughter. I didn't do it. She's also accused of blasting your daughter. It was an investigation, and they closed it. But in this incident, it never happened. Did you ever intentionally sexually touch Kelly's teen daughter? He answered no. Did you ever stick your hands down Kelly's teen daughter's pants? You answered no. And the results for your lie detector test came back all the same. And they came back that you did not tell the truth. <laughs> been there yeah oh okay. whatever i'm curious as to your reaction to his lie detector test say back then i totally believe it yeah now we're done okay okay yeah. what i want to hear from you is um now you could stand on a stage and keep saying it didn't happen it didn't happen you could do that and nobody's going to believe you anyways well, well, because you, you failed the lie detector right. test uh how many times did we give it to you Two, three. Two, three times. Something like that. Um, right. Yeah. Uh, failing each and every time. Times, dude. Okay. And you failed. Uh, you failed uh, all the pertinent questions. Tell me I'm a liar. Hold on a second. You're failing all the pertinent questions. Um, and I go back to the alcohol. I've seen people do a lot of stupid things uh, drinking alcohol. I've done stupid things drinking alcohol. Fortunately, never uh, with children or you know, coming on the children, whatever. Would you want to come out and say, you know what? It happened. I was an alcoholic. I drank way too much, and I did do it. How could you touch my daughter? Not, I'm, I'm not I, saying I, I, it makes it right. It I'm trying true. to get somebody to admit the truth yeah. here, okay? If, if I did, if He's I... He's a chronic okay. liar. Everybody be quiet right now. You if, were saying, if, I, if I did do it, and I remembered, I would, I would admit it. Well, you have some recollection so, because so that's what's if, causing So the apparently I did do it and I okay. don't remember. I now, must knowing that, that you're saying that you did do it, what do you want to say about that? You, you, you assulted, molested a teenage girl. I'm sorry. Your best I, friend teenage Oh, you're girl. sorry. No, I, I don't remember. What I'm do like, you want to say to the parents of that teenage girl? I'm sorry. You can take your sorry and go to hell. Okay, well, then there you go. You go to hell. <laughs> Catch it right now and put it in my pocket. See, if I was in your position, I, I think I'd be more remorseful. Uh, you know, a teen, young teenage girl, how scared she must have been. How scared. She, she didn't even say it after the first time it happened because she knows you're all friends. She, she's scared to tell her parents. Yeah. How, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You know, you know the harm that you cause to a child because for your drunken sexual gratification? Think about that. Not, you know, for your drunken sexual gratification, you a child. And you violated something that is what we all want in life, the friendship. A friendship that you had with these people. They, what, what kind of world are we living in if we can't trust our friends, our family, which they considered you as an uncle, to trust your kids around family? I took you into my house, dude. Is there anything you want to say? You can't say nothing. Is there anything you want to say? Just, I'm sorry. Then, You're sorry and go to hell. Well, I'm sure when you go home, there's going to be some consequences to your actions. Yep. And for now, you can get the hell off my stage. Yeah.
I understand there's issues other than this allegation and who he now has admitted on my stage that he has done this. Uh, we don't get that very often where somebody, even after a lie detector says, yeah, I did it. Can only hide so long, Steve. Well, you want to do something stupid and not be there for your kids, then you take the law into your own hands. But if you want to be there and protect your daughter, then you do it properly and you let the legal system oh, handle it. Oh, we're going to handle it. Okay. We're going for it. But knowing that this family suffered enough, you going through cancer, uh, your daughter suffering this, what happened to her, is there anything that you want to say to each other? I just want left alone. Lose my number. Don't call my. She don't go to my house because she don't know where I live. Oh yeah, Jason, leave, leave me alone. alone. Leave me my kids. No leave my kids' that. name out of her mouth at the bars. Leave us alone. No problem with that. There's no daughter, just family. get your daughter help. Get her you don't help. worry about my daughter. Get her you help. You go worry about your pedophile Get her help. Get her help. That'll be She's riding home it. with you. Get her help. Get her help. And we'll end the show with good luck to everybody. Good luck. You're here because you're accused of molesting your own daughter. I didn't do it. She described details. I don't care. What if she fails life protect the person? I would want custody of my kids. Both parents, accusations of child molestation. You're here because you're accused of molesting your own daughter. I didn't do it. She described details. I don't care. Stanton claims that her three-year-old niece said she was molested by her own father, Rashid. But he denies ever touching his daughter in a sexual manner and believes she has an overactive imagination because she's even accused her own mother. Take a look. Rashid and my sister have been together for about six years. They have three kids together. Last year, I was watching my nieces, and then my son came to me and told me that my niece tried to touch him inappropriately. And then she just told me like something that I never thought I would, I would ever hear from her. She told me that her little sister had touched her inappropriately, and it all led up to it happened at her mommy's house and that Rashid was also involved. It was bath time, and Rashid made her do it, and he also touched her inappropriately. It just seemed too many details for her to be making it up. That's just how I feel. It was way too many details. I had a feeling something had been happening to her, but I just didn't know who did it. I was angry. Um, I was really shocked, and I really didn't know what to do. I can't tell my sister how I really feel because I don't want to lose her again. We've already fell out because of him. If he did this and my sister doesn't take action, then I will take the action. I'm not going to find out and then just do nothing about it because this is a child and this child can't protect herself. You're here because you're accused of molesting your own daughter. Um, you got to stand up. Um, but what's unusual about this story um, is it your girlfriend? You call her that. Yeah, I mean, she's not your wife. No. Okay. She's also accused of molesting your daughter. Correct. So both parents, uh, accusations of child molestation. Did you molest your daughter? No, Steve. I would never do nothing like that. Why are you being accused of that? My daughter has a wide imagination. She has a big imagination. She makes up things from anywhere. Like, for instance, there was a time that me and her were sitting in the house, and, and she how just... how old is your daughter? She's... <clears throat> now she's four. She's four years old. Yeah. Okay. And we were sitting in the house and she said, Dad, you remember the time we was at the park and I was riding my bike and I fell? No, honey, that never happened because we haven't been to the park with your bike. So she makes up stuff all the time. I mean, I wouldn't say she makes it up, but in her mind it's happened. But in this incident, it never happened. I'm being accused of something that's that's tearing my family apart. I don't even get to see my kids. But wouldn't now. you say, uh, you know, Daddy, we remember that time I rode on the bike and I fell in the park is a lot different than my daddy's touching me, my private parts? Yeah, big difference. Yeah. But the difference is I didn't do it. And how are you with your daughter now since this is... Even the thing is, Steve, it's puzzling me on, on how I can be accused of this. And, and 
I mean, we, and we you didn't do it. Fine. You didn't do it. No. They talk about uh, the bath. Uh, this happened in the bath. Never happened, Steve. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, I, when, when I put them in the bath, I let her do it herself. I mean, most of the time, until she got about three years old, I will. I, her mama gave them baths. I didn't give them baths. If I gave them baths, I would. Hey, what a rag. Now, there you go. You wash yourself up. I don't touch my kids. Just, just in case something like this would ever come up, you can't say, hey, Rashid did it. Right. No, you're not going to get that off on me. Do you believe your daughter was molested at all? I, I don't know, Steve. I don't I know. I mean, it, do you think Jasmine molested? No. Right. I go, that's sick. I'm like, who does that to their kids? Well, I mean, I, I mean, I've seen people come right. here before, but no, I don't know. No. I, I mean, I, I can't remember a time when both mother and uh, uh, father are being accused of it. This might be the first time. Um, so it's got to be hard. It's, it's, it's tearing your family apart. And you're not at home. Now, Jasmine's sister, Satin, believes that you did this. <laughs> you don't care about no, I don't, I don't. I don't care nothing Why about Satin. Why do you Satin? think she, she believes that you did this? Any, anytime, anytime you do them, like your wife, for instance, you might have somebody in her family that, that don't like you. No, and this, they all, they all love is, me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I don't get that. I don't get that. I'm a, I'm a <laughs> nature, but... So am I, and I think so am I. <laughs> but I, we, she we've got our like differences. It. I she mean, she doesn't like, like me. She don't want me to be with her. She don't okay. want me around. She just Let's she bring out your like girlfriend, Jasmine. If I find out that you touched her, it's going to be a real big problem. I, I mean, she can't just come out in details like that. But what you accused? But I didn't get details. It don't matter. It, you, it don't matter. What you accused she, though? she described details. I don't care what you accused Yes, of. I was accused, so don't but it don't, like it, don't, it, don't, it don't matter. You're not gonna she gave and do it, details no. about you, not what me. What details did she give? Um, my sister held up a bear. She asked her where would she touch, and my daughter touched right there in between the legs. Have you ever touched your younger daughter for sexual gratification? The answer no. The results for his lie detector test is that he. Do you, do you in your heart believe that he did this? I don't know what to believe because you know I'm saying when I look at him, it don't look like he would do such thing. I'm saying he's a great father. Right. But it's my child is four. How you give it? You give it in my face. Like you give it details You give it details. Like you give it details. You give it details. If you give it details, what four year old gonna know, give you details like that? What four year old gonna say, uh, my daddy made my sister touch me first? Uh, he says he says she is a very imaginative uh, young lady. Okay, bikes. I'm in a park. Right. Who uh, imagines, my, my, uh, I'm imagining my daddy touching me. Right. No, no she's four years old. Who imagines their mama is touching them? Like I said, I don't think that she knows between a good touch and a bad touch. And when it comes to me, well, she that, don't give details well, like that. Well, wouldn't that be the case with him too? Couldn't it be a case of, yeah, you know, uh, both my parents touch me. They give not me saying that he made my sister touch me too. And not in between the legs. Right. So if he, if he fails. It's going to be some problems. Nothing. It's going to be some no, problems. Come on. If you fail, there's going to be something. It's going to be some problems. She's going to bitch at me. She's going to have a heart no, attack. Well, I mean, I would hope she'd get the police involved if you fail. Yes. Um, yeah. yeah. why, why doesn't your sister like him? None of my family likes him. I mean, it's, it's, it's his demeanor. He's a like he said, you know. He don't know when to shut what, up. What attracted you to him? I don't know. <laughs> that, you know. That was years ago, you oh, know. Oh, time out. I'm not a bad guy. I'm not saying you are. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm not a bad guy. I mean. No, but i just wondering, like she's saying all this, what, did she, what was she attracted to? I mean, you're extremely good looking like me. <laughs> it's the head. It's the head, though. You got to tell me how you get your so bad, man, you know. <laughs> okay. I, you know, just the, both your demeanors. Did this happen? I don't know. No, I'm gonna believe my child. I'm gonna believe my child over anything. Do you believe I don't I give did a it? damn who do you say what. I did it? My child comes first. I'm gonna believe what she say. What he say does not matter. Hold on, hold on, hold on. When, when she said you did something, when she said you do something, what, what did I do? What if she fails? What if she fails? Like detective time. Tell him how to do. What are you gonna do? I mean, I mean, I would want custody of my kids. Okay. I have no problem with that. Let's I, bring I, I out my kids your sister and the woman that doesn't like you very much, Satin.
a joke, and there's nothing to be laughing about. Like, this is, it's way too many details for her to just have made this up, like a riding a bicycle in the park. Who gives a damn? Just because I ain't her, just because, just because I ain't her mom, don't make you no it different. It don't matter. I ain't my father, though. I am no it different. It don't matter. I am no different from nobody even else though I don't like you, kids, though. Even though I don't like you. We, we don't like what? each other. Okay. Even mm -hmm. though I don't like you. Okay. I was cool with you. Okay. Before all of this. Uh, am, I good, am I good father to my kids? You a good father, but... Right. So, she, what, so she, mean, it don't mean nothing. It don't mean nothing. It don't mean nothing. Why was she making following details? That's it. No, it does not. Yes, it does. But your sister's also accused, too. I never heard about her being accused. Oh. None of this. Which is true. I never told her that. I never Which knew that true. she was accused until right. we just got That's here crazy. today. It's crazy. It's crazy that when it comes to me, I am the devil. Because but when it comes to everybody else, they're an angel, though, right? Who said that? And you just did. You just said you never heard nothing about that, but you already said that. Oh, but you told her that. Oh, really? Really? You never told her that, though? I never you told her. Do you put everything is told about me? I don't know if it was him, but I know something happened to her. Your her child action. told her. What do you mean? Remember, Favoritism. I wasn't there. Favoritism. I wasn't there. How can you say that if I wasn't there? Remember, yeah. I was at work. Bruh. So everything that was what told is, was from what, my child, not to hers. What, what did the little girl say to you? She told me my son and her, my niece, the one we're... Yes. You're about, yes. and I think it was two of two of my other nieces was there too, and they were upstairs playing. And then my son came and told me that she tried to do something inappropriate to him. So I sat her, sat her down, you know, put her to the side, and was just asking her questions because I felt like something happened to her for her to have done this. And then that's when she started telling me about the other child touched her and that he was involved, and, it, and I was like, where did it happen? I was asking a lot of questions so it could be <laughs> I bet you, I bet you when she said that, you was jumping like a dog in heat, boy. I, I no, swear to what I world. did was I called my sister. And, and that's when I left work. And that's and when I she left over. work. And I let her talk to her. Because that's her did child. You, uh, I'm just the Did anybody aunt, take these children to a hospital? Or? I sure did. I took her to the hospital. The hospital said it doesn't look like she was abused down there. Right. But that I went to child it. services. CPS was involved. I had um, two people talk to her. They didn't even so have me was, in the room So there was an investigation. Uh, it was an investigation, and they closed it. All right. But it's still the thought in the back of my mind. You know, well, I can't you trust know what? them. Let's find out. Jasmine, we gave you a lie detector test, and we asked you, have you ever sexually molested your older daughter? You answered no. She told the truth. We asked Rashid, have you ever touched your older daughter for sexual gratification? He answered no. Have you ever touched your younger daughter for sexual gratification? gratification. He answered no. And the results for his lie detector test is that he told the truth. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Time out, time out. Time out, time out. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Can I get the most biggest apology? Okay. Can I apologize? 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 I apologize, but I'm not about to give you the biggest because that's my four-year-old. Why not? You and put I'm me going to that that I don't care, about, but if brother? my four-year-old says something, I'm going to automatically believe her. But, oh, you oh, can't oh, oh, blame oh, oh. me for but, that. But you you cannot you, believe me for blaming my you. child. I have one thing to say. If not him, then who? That's what I want to know. Do you believe that something happened by somebody else? I feel like something happened to her or she saw something. I mean, she could have been at a relative house, daycare, or something been on the TV. But, you know, she just don't make this stuff up. She saw something or she was in something. Something happened to where she had to she accuse somebody. She could have saw something, but do you believe that maybe she really was molested? You know, she really don't have it. That you was a year you don't ago. Believe, you don't believe it happened? Our, our kids are protected. You came here. You did have a cloud. And I agree with you. If the subject comes up, you can't just brush it aside. You, you gotta, gotta act on it. But if I'm such a great father and I'm great to my kids, I've never gave you any indication whatsoever that I would do something like this. Then but why you know look what? At me like that? that happens all the time. People say, oh, not him, not him. And then it turns out to be that person. Well, this should have been it because I didn't Well, I hope this is it for you. And I hope the issue never, uh, you know, comes up again. I hope that... There's never a question of it. I hope you both be good parents, and I, I hope, uh, you know, you don't have to end up well, on my stage I always be again. a good parent. Good for you. You don't need for me not to be. All right. <laughs> Thank you.